a revised, revised agenda um, before you. We have a lot to get done when we get started. Uh, Representative McCarthy, would you lead us in the talk? Thank you, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you all for attending. Uh, there will be an opportunity for public input at the end of today's meeting. I'm sure my phone is turned down. We have um, a lot to get done. There is um, updated um, revenue or expenditures and revenues that should be uh, at your seats. There should be another doc. There should be a copy of last month's minutes or the last the last meeting's minutes. There is a copy that's headed 2017 audit testing. I believe that's probably what you have in front of you there. Mr. Chair? Yes. Um, I yeah. gave you a copy of the minutes, but I sent the minutes from the last meeting to all of the delegates. Oh, okay. Thank you. So you may not have copies of the minutes there. If someone did not see your copy last night, I have a copy here I could distribute to you. So, Tom? I'll move for the Use a copy now. Yeah, I need a copy of the budget. I will try yes. to take one. We can get you that. There's a copy there. 
Corrections, additions. Uh, if you're in favor of the minutes as distributed, signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes. Um, Treasurer has a request for TAN authorization. And Cello, I would recognize you for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we're in the process of putting together our current year's tax anticipation vote, and I'm requesting that the delegation approve us for a $17 million, up to $17 million tax anticipation vote for this year. So move. Second. Moved by um, Barberger, second, second by Abilene. Um, any discussion? If you're in favor of the motion to uh, grant the treasurer of Carroll County permission to borrow $17 million in anticipation of taxes for the year. Up, up to. Up to. Up to, thank you. Uh, $17 million in anticipation of taxes for the year 2018. Is there a question? Yes, you know, what's the percentage rate? Um, I don't believe that's been decided yet until he has the authorization. Any further discussion? If you're in favor of the motion, you signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. If you could, Steve, could you pass that down to, uh, oh, sorry, down to Joe? Don't spend it in one day. No. <laughs> Copies should be there of the budget. And whoever has the sign in sheet, if you keep moving it around, please. Great. Make mention that uh, we are sitting without a recording secretary today, and that the uh, motions and uh, convention uh, minutes will be taken by our clerk, Representative Butler. Uh, the minutes will, of the meeting will be handled by myself. Next, next item is. Um, Author engagement discussion authorization. We are the administrator. My understanding has uh, not is not able to attend today due to a family issue. And uh, will someone be presenting that in his place or? I will do that. Thank you. Um, I believe the delegation on February second was given this um, where we asked. For the, um, we desired to engage the services of the Lake and Chief to perform the audit, to perform the audit, I'm sorry, and that we requested the honorable delegation approve the engagement as soon as possible for the purpose of conducting the audit. Thank you. Um, it is uh, Representative Cordelli. Uh, I just had a question about that recommendation, if I might. Uh, Yes, please. Uh, uh, just concerned, um, has the com have the commissioners um, verified that uh, this firm will be able to start the financial audit sooner than they did in 2017? It was not until Mar excuse me, August 
that they started the audit for the prior year. And I am concerned that, uh, you know, are we uh, at the bottom of their priority list in terms of doing audits, or have we confirmed that they will be able to start the uh, audit for 2017 in a more timely manner? Well, we were unable to ask them to start until we had permission from the delegation. So that's what we were, we were asking now is permission from the delegation. And as soon as we get that permission, I, then then we'll uh, start. Uh, uh, I do not think there was any delay in uh, permission in 2017 for them to start the audit. This is, this is I do not know the answer to that question. Thank you. Um, I, if, I also want to mention that part of, part of the process is that the delegation has the authority to ask uh, for some to be actively involved in that process. We have a list of, uh, of items that we would like uh, to be given to the auditor. We'll open that for discussion here in a moment. Uh, but before we get to that, Representative McCarthy, do you have a comment at this time? Yes, um, <clears throat> the word permission was used, and uh, according to the law, the word approval is used, and, it, and the approval, according to legislative research and everybody I've talked to, if, you, if the bill is, or the law is read properly, it is not the approval just to go out and get somebody. It is the approval of the firm to be used. And that we have not been asked for. Uh, if, if I could, represent McCarthy, I believe that is the reason for the meeting today. And that it says it in, in the letter that was sent, we asked for the honorable delegation to approve the engagement of Melanson Heath. And we, and we haven't met until today, so. But I thought we used the proper wording when we said approve. I, I haven't seen that. Could we pass these down to the um, commissioners? Uh, will will, um, will Commissioner Hounsel be joining us today? I do not believe so. She just What's that? Uh, before before the delegation is a is a list of items um, that uh, been put together uh, as suggestion for from the delegation to the uh, to the commissioners, uh, which would be a request by the delegation. Uh, has everyone had a chance to take a look at that? Motion. I would move uh, that the delegation approve the uh, list of uh, audit uh, testing uh, for 2017 as uh, presented. Second, Mr. Chairman. Moved, uh, moved by Cordelli, seconded by Avalani. Uh, recognize. Thank Representative you. If someone could just uh, review this list for us, please, and uh, the rationale for asking for these, I'd appreciate it. All right. Representative Cordelli, you want uh, to help us? Thank you. Sorry. Uh, uh, petty cash, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. There are a number of uh, departments with petty cash funds, um, and I think that uh, the auditing firm should just, you know, review the use of petty cash accounts. Um, second, uh, just uh, thought that uh, there had been some questions raised about uh, the uh, propane account and that that should be looked at and um, where uh, propane deliveries are being made uh, and paid for by the county. And third, and is, that, is that time frame um, within the auditing possibility from September of 16 through the end of 17? Um, I, I believe that uh, possible deliveries in the final quarter of 16 might be paid for in 17. Thank you. Um, third um, was uh, uh, just take a look and 
see how the county is dealing with uh, orders placed in 2017, especially end of year 2017, um, and how uh, those uh, payments are being made um, and what funds are being used for items ordered in 2017 but not received in that year, that fiscal year. If I could, um, orders. Can you be um, more specific? Goods, services, through all materials. Accounts, through all accounts. Right. Um, in the past, we have had, uh, I, I looked at the 2016 encumbrance list, and there was a two-page list of items encumbered, or excuse me, funds encumbered to pay for end-of-year um, orders. Um, but this year, uh, the list that we had, I think, was only three items. So this is only uh, relative to encumbrances? Correct. Okay. Or lack thereof. How, uh, items that were ordered but not received, Understood. how are they being dealt with? Um, fourth, uh, I think, uh, per RSAs, the auditing firm is to look not only at uh, Gatsby uh, recommendations, uh, for uh, financial accounting, but also uh, to uh, look at uh, state and federal laws and uh, D DRA rules uh, are being adhered to, um, and uh, I think that's pretty clear, to, pretty clear in the uh, RSAs. And finally, um, similar to the uh, first petty cash uh, review, um, to look um, at uh, the use of the county credit cards. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, are we on cash or accrual basis? Um, it's modified accrual because they're, they're county mm -hmm. principles that, that, yep. that govern how they look at these issues. Right. Thank you, Representative McCarthy. Yes. <coughs> I, I, I just wanted to be quite clear that the RSA states emphatically that certain things have to be done. One, all state and federal laws must be adhered to. All regulations promulgated by the uh, Department of Revenue Administration must be adhered to. Those things have to be in the budget, I mean in the audit, whether or not they looked at them and what they found. Also, the fact that the delegation, the treasurer, and the commissioners can make up a list. And the word used is any question involving finances of the county must be looked at specifically by the auditing firm. That's in the law. So these questions are all valid um, and, and, and lawful. Thank you, Representative McCarthy. Representative Bumberger. Yes. Uh, I just want to make sure that the minutes reflect all of the items that we identified and not just audit testing so that we have a clear list of what was, what we're in fact voting on. Um, my understanding is that we're voting on the sheet of paper here, which right. is the audit Five testing. items. Right, but yes. it just needs to be in the minutes. What oh, yes. Are. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And not, because that wasn't the motion. Um, as listed. Thank you. Any thank further you. discussion? Motion's been made. It's been seconded. Um, well, and I'm sorry. I We had this discussion, but uh, who, who made the motion? Um, I did. Cordelli seconded by Avalon. So, to include the list as presented. Representative's comment, do, do we need to uh, amend the motion that the list, uh, or as, that'll just be included? As, as, my, as amended, uh, with, with the addition of the list. Is that clear? All right, we're going to run as long as we can on voice votes. If you're in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you.
Uh, subcommittee, uh, other change, we're done. The, uh, your item, uh, in case you're trying to keep your hair looking good like I am, convention <laughs> photo was item number two, uh, which was suggested by uh, the administrator. I don't know if he had someone lined up to take care of that duty. So we will do that the next time we meet. Uh, we will move on to subcommittee recommendations uh, for the Commissioner's 2018 budget. Um, it's, it's my understanding that the we are still... I'm sorry? Sorry to interrupt you, yes. uh, Mr. Chairman. Did we motion as a delegation to, to authorize Myerson and Heath to be the auditors? We did not. Okay. And that's where I got confused. I'll so that. All, all we have is the motion um, to include the audit testing list. Mm -hmm. um, so is, is, that, is that your motion, Representative Clark? Yes, that's my motion. I'd like to add to it also that, uh, that they're to be made aware that the statute states 90 days after the close of the fiscal year. That's what the statute says. And I do not know if there's any type of way to extend it if they need it. I don't know if that's written into the law or not. But it says 90 days. Unfortunately, because we did not approve the audit company, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to say 90 days because that's less than two weeks away. And so, um, you know, that, that's a, that's a problem. Uh, for them to uh, complete the audits. Um, the other issue that we have is that it wasn't until early March that we received the final numbers from uh, the uh, commissioner. And so um, they could not have started anyhow until the final accounting was completed for 2017. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why it took so long, but there must have been some outstanding invoices that were not processed yet. And so uh, I realize what the RSA says, but I also recognize the reality on the ground. And so uh, I think that we have indicated that we need to get them going as quickly as possible, and um, hopefully that will occur. So Just a quick follow-up. Yes. Then that should be reflected in the minutes, clearly, that, that the statutes have not been followed, correct? Okay. If you feel the need. I, I believe we should include in the minutes the discussion uh, Representative Bunberger um, highlighting the fact that it's going to be hard to adhere to. Would, would that satisfy the representative? We'll, 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 pull, we'll pull the language so that it mirrors the conversation. Yes. And if I could just uh, ask one of us to check with other counties to see what they're doing, because I can't imagine that many are able to complete their audits within 90 days of the end of the fiscal year. And we may want to just look at the RSA and see if changes are needed. Representative McCarthy, I believe, has worked on legislation to do exactly that. Excellent. Thank Every, you. Everyone's recognized that the trigger isn't isn't being adhered to. Representative McCarthy has legislation to. Would you like to add to that, Representative McCarthy? Um, not on the legislation. The legislation is in. It's already passed the House. Um, Municipal and, and, and uh, a government committee by a 14 or nothing vote. It passed the full house by a uh, voice vote on uh, unanimous consent. It's now in the hands of the Senate. And um, I would just I would just like to make a note for the for the clerk really. Um, the, the bill that we're talking or the law that we're talking about relative to audit is. 28 colon 3 dash A, county audits. And if you like, I, I would read the portion of it that. Oh, I think right. All right, thank you. But we should ask that that law is adhered to in its totality. 
So, Representative Kamau, your motion still contains within 90 days? You would have to if that's what the statute says. That's fine. I'm just, that's I just, fine. I just want to be clear on what our motion is going to be. And I will wait for, we'll give Representative Umberger a moment. <coughs> so, my understanding of the motion is to approve the engagement of Mellons and Heath as the auditors and noting that the RSA states the audit is to be completed 90 days after the end of the fiscal year. Representative Nelson. Somewhere it should be noted uh, that given the time frame that we recognize that that's part it can't happen. I think that discussion will be part of the minutes. That would be, that would be, that would certain will be part of the minutes. This guy's in charge of those this month, so we should make a note. For which the clerk thanks you heartily. <laughs> All right. The um, next item we're going to move to is uh, subcommittee um, recommendations. And given this, the first one will be, isn't it also the commissioner's budget? I don't know if there's controversy over this motion. If we just want to do that, we're, 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 we're going to. So, if, as everyone understand the motion as it's been presented, if you're in favor of the motion, <coughs> signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, uh, if you're opposed, nay. Um, motion passes unanimous with uh, Representative Bumberger. Uh, not everyone. Who's our second? So on, and I don't think I've made mention of this, so my understanding is we're still waiting for the final numbers for payroll on the insurance costs, health uh, and dental, and so we will not be able to uh, approve budgets until we have those numbers. We also have some outstanding questions on the um, contracts, the uh, union contracts, uh, that I have scheduled to be talked about later. Um, so it will necessitate, my hope is that we are going to get through this budget as best we can today. Mm -hmm. We'll need to we'll need to follow up. We'll have our numbers for, um, I believe, would be next Monday. Um, and um, then depending on how far we get our business done today, and if it just turns out to be payroll and the approval of the uh, um, and the union contracts, whether we're going to agree or disagree on the final numbers for that. Uh, if that's what we get down to, then perhaps we could consider taking care of that business in Concord next week instead of coming back here, uh, which means we might be able to fall into a different day that would be suitable for everyone being down there. So you can, you can consider that. We'll see how far we get today. Any other questions before we get started? Yes, from St. Uh, just to comment that um, based on the numbers in the latest spreadsheets, <coughs> the um, uh, expenditure increase based on the subcommittee recommendations as on this worksheet uh, represent a 9.48% <coughs> increase over 2017 actual expenditures. 9.4% over 2017? Correct. Actuals. Actuals. And do you have a percentage relative to the budget, uh, num budgeted numbers for 17? Yes, it was the actual um, expenditures for 2017 were $28,930,947. Dollars. Yeah, right. Yes, Representative Chandler. I don't know. That's not the same one I have. It's not the same one right here. Right. Right. Um, 
I evidently was looking at a different version of this spreadsheet when I came up with that percentage. Because this shows right, the actual for 2017 is $28,926,000. So four thousand dollars off. Yeah, it's not my, I just right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's like a night. Yes. But forgetting the actuals, which is a good place. Which I don't want to forget that because that's an actual portrayal of what right. we spent. The, the subcommittee's budget is a one point one million over last year's budget. Correct. And the commissioner's budget is one point six million over last year's budget. Correct. Yeah. Is anyone else concerned about that? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And I why would you continue? Yes, should I? Because it includes in that is what I would consider to be an exorbitant increase this year. Is the lack of the what, five hundred and seventy something thousand dollars in the bond state. So you're looking at a huge an increase much higher than that actually. Is that five was it five seventy? I'm sorry, sorry. Five something of the, of the jail bond that's not included in this budget. It was paid off last year. So if you add that with what the increase is <coughs> I apologize. No, no, no need to. We just want to make sure you're all set to go. Yeah, I have an issue in concrete that I. Anyhow, yes. Finance it could be pressing. That's surprising. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, on the commissioner's budget, um, we are still waiting to hear the bottom line for both um, medical insurance and uh, health insurance, or and dental insurance. Um, we were told that the maximum was going to be 7% on medical insurance, and the maximum on dental insurance was going to be 10%. But uh, I have not heard whether or not those figures have been changed. And so um, it's my recommendation for today that we not approve any um, areas that have personnel related to it because the bottom line, whatever happens with medical and dental, uh, would change, and um, the um, the figure that you see on um, this one dated three sixteen. If you look at the uh, medical insurance, uh, it's twelve. It's at uh, five seventy nine, and that reflects the seven percent increase. So. I would like to um, pass over, if that's the right term, okay. uh, the, uh, the commissioner's uh, budget until we get those final numbers. And um, they said that they'll be ready prior to the end of March. And so I don't know if you've had any luck at all, Kathy. I have not had a word. In, uh, in getting that, but we really do, I think, need to um, need to press that issue because it affects so much of the, of the budget. Sure, Tim, so, Tim. I just get a, I, an explanation or a little bit. I, I just don't understand why we don't know what this figure is. I know of no other town in the state of New Hampshire doesn't know what their medical expenses are going to be next year. I mean, we've known for two months. I don't think we're anything unusual. Is there some reason we don't know what it is? Kathy, would you be able to... Uh... Our renewal is July 1. Yes, I understand that. I'll, I'll just I'll use my town as an example. Ours is July 1, too. 
So we have six months at last year's rate, and in January they tell us what the rate is for next year, after July 1. No, I, we haven't received that. I, I know you suggested not to exceed, but we didn't receive any actual number yet. I don't, unless someone emailed Ken, and I haven't, I'm not putting those emails, but. Yeah, but Thank you, thank you, and that's and that's one of the reasons, uh, Representative Chandler, why we're waiting. On, and I agree. With well, you. I get that. But I, I agree with you. It's March twenty or nineteenth, or whatever yeah, the date that, is. That every other, every other community has received their actual rate, right. as opposed to the not to exceed rate. Right. But for some reason or other, the insurance company that we deal with uh, has chosen not to provide that. And I have no idea whether or not the sheriff's department that has a separate um, medical insurance company, if they have submitted enough to exceed in an actual. The sheriff is indicating that he does not have that number yet for his. Okay. And it's, uh, you know, it's quite substantial across the the various uh, places in the budgets. Representative Paul. Yeah, just a quick question. In every place in the budget at this point, are does do the numbers reflect the 7% increase? Yes. yes, they do. And, and the 10% for health. And in, in the budget. 7% for health, 10% for death. And if, if I could, uh, Gary, the... Um, 3% for non-union employees pay is figured into this budget. Mm -hmm. That's and correct. figured into this budget is the, is the number as negotiated by the commissioners for the union contracts also. And the nursing and the nursing yes. Okay. Representative Bumber. So would you like me to go on? Yes, if you would, please. Okay. Uh, if I could. Um, so... There are no other questions relative to uh, insurance costs or personnel in the commissioner's budget. Is that the case? That's yes. There's one other issue, and that is the uh, <coughs> the administrator, but um, business. What's it? What's it called? Business administrative assistant. Administrative assistant, which is not called out specifically in the record. And um, that issue is um, they had come in for the full 12 months. And uh, we have changed it to, we have changed it to eight months. And um, there have been rumblings that um, we should eliminate this position. So that's where that's where we are with commissioners. Budget. And if, if I could, uh, Scary, the the numbers that I'm seeing here is with that position removed at this point, or no. is it just funded? We did eight months. Reduced to eight months. And I had asked for a number that would show that that it was completely taken out of there. Do we have that number? I was not aware of that request, Mark. I'm sorry. That's fine. Well, the salary is thirty-one five. Yearly salary. But I believe the committee was recommending eight months at thirty-one five. Is that correct? Kim? No. Eight months at fifteen dollars an hour, which came out to twenty thousand eight hundred or something like that. So that's. But that's the only other issue that we have with the budget. Representative Avalon, the um, if we remove those numbers, there would have to be changes in the corresponding lines as well. Correct. Absolutely, just to make sure that's that. clear. Yeah, we know that, and that was not done because it wasn't done. Totally agree. That's what they've been tasked to provide. Representative Cordelli, I I will I will say emphatically, I had asked the administrator to prepare the number so that it was here when I got here today, and it is not here. 
Representative Cardelli. Thank you. I just uh, point out that that position has been vacant since November. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so, uh, help me to understand how we are going to uh, get to approvals on the various budgets. Um, if we don't finalize everything except the personnel costs uh, in these budgets today, will we do that next week? Um, uh, explain how we're going to get to uh, completion. The personnel issue we can answer today. Right. We're not going to approve that with a not to exceed number. So my hope is that we will go through the remaining of each one of these budgets and make a recommendation. And then we'll have to come back and revisit that. Yes? So if I could, relative to this administrative assistant position, um, in the subcommittee there was a discussion that uh, the position is needed for a variety of reasons, one of which is that um, the people in the office now are scrambling to do all of the work necessary that some people are working um, 10, 12 hours a day uh, in order to achieve uh, completion of the work that needs to be done. And that even though this position has been open, um, the administrative assistant position is definitely needed. Um, and uh, from the discussion that I heard, um, it certainly makes sense that this position should be funded. Thank you for that. Further discussion? I would point out that uh, we did reduce education and uh, conferences from 4,600 to 4,000. But the biggest issue that we had was the medical and dental with this. The, uh, that's quite the country. I'm sorry? I'm not having those numbers. As I believe, I believe we do straight through that we could we could go through. We, our hands have been tied here. We might as well let's just discuss that right up front. That um, because of public notices and so forth, and the way that the delegation is being made to operate now without the use of our recording secretary and the heavy reliance of going through the commissioner's office and the double double standard of having to go through the administrator and then or the administrative assistant that is filling in on a, another position. Uh, proper notifications have not come out in, in times that are necessary, which has forced this delegation to be meeting at later dates to consider the business before us. On top of that, the delegation does not have the, um, the numbers that uh, many of you were talking about that are necessary for us to finish our duties, which is what's pushing us by RSA. I believe we have to be completed by the end of this month. So uh, I apologize to one and all that we're sitting here in this position. My hope is we are convened today and that we will take care of the matters that we can take before us. I will, when, when we're talking about a clerk and an administrative assistant in the commissioner's office, I can understand the need for an assistant in the commissioner's office, as I can understand the need for this delegation to have a recording secretary, which the commissioners have now deemed that that is the terms that we have operated on the 17 years that I've been here. Are different, and it is it is also uh, tying up our position. The commissioner's office has operated without someone in that position for uh, since November. The the business office is operating on their own without a uh, financial officer. And those positions have been spread across the 
personnel in the business office. And I am told that that is running perfectly fine. Uh, Mark, excuse me for Yes. But I believe that uh, Kathy has been promoted to the position of financial officer. Okay. I, I, okay. Okay, so yes. that's... So the positions below that are being absorbed within within the confines of that, of there. And it would appear to me that they're running perfectly fine, to which is why my, my uh, we can handle this today or we can handle this when we bring up the uh, personnel later. It's my recommendation that this delegation does not fund the administrative assistant position. So, do you want a motion to that effect? Yes. Okay, I move that we don't fund the. And how much is that? Or how much money it is? It's. Um, <clears throat> I think it's twenty thousand eight hundred plus uh, well, medical, dental, and all right. of the other things that go along. But at least in that, excuse me, if I may. Yes, so please. in that line, it would be reduced by twenty thousand something. Off this March sixteenth. Right now it's at 64 by 587, and that was at the eight months of employment. So we have we have a motion to to reduce the budget by an amount to be determined because we don't have that here, which would eliminate the position of administrative assistant. Do we have a second to the motion? Second by Cordelli. Discussion. If I may, my yes. motion is yes. not relating all the other things that you have to do later. Would be reduce that line item, I think, by twenty thousand, whatever counts. Which would be the business, which would be administrative salaries. Yes. And you said twenty thousand eight hundred, Representative Lumberger. I believe that was the figure. Thank you. So the, we, it, we'll have time for correction because we have to have we have to have this for next. So my, there would be two forty three seven eighty seven. Could I just could just ask a question? Yes. Could I ask a question of the what the impact would be on the office of this? What their feeling is? The office has always had three personnel and they've covered this. Now you're eliminating them person office instead of a three person office. But I mean the impact is going to be quite drastic. As it is now, the administrator, the uh, finance controller, and the bookkeeper are performing these duties. I do not think of, uh, as Mark had pointed out at the beginning, there were publications and things that weren't done timely. If anything, it would be because what the people that are down there are doing so much extra work that they may have lost. But I know that I've been in here at 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and there were people still in the office working. Okay. Rep Representative, if I, could, if I could add to that. The reason the, in the past, and I'm going to go back to 2002, with rare exception, the delegation appoints a, um, a recording secretary. The delegation appoints or says what the salary or the daily pay will be for that individual. And that individual has been handling our public notices. There became a scrape this year where that became an issue, and the commissioners redrafted the job description of the of the um, recording secretary for the delegation. For the delegation, reducing the rate of pay greatly, and changing the scope of work of that individual greatly. The, and I, I can only address issues that concern the delegation. We have never had the issues we are because we do not have control of our own meetings, our minutes, and um, publications. So, if so, 
I, I that understand that, and I think that's a different issue. I mean, I agree. I think we need a secretary. But I also, in following this line, the, the impact of this other position, I see them as two different things. And my concern, my concern is, are we getting into overtime issues and things that, plus, you know, stress on staff? You know, are we? Is this a tit for a tat type thing, or is this something that we need? To me, I think we need both. Okay, thank you. We so. will, uh, we will, we will put this to a vote in a moment. But I will say the only control we have in this budget is exactly where we are right now, which is deciding what the bottom line of budgets is. Okay. Representative Cordelli, I think Representative Bumberger first. Uh, <clears throat> I also uh, might point out that um, I believe it was last year or the year before that we did um, approve a payroll person and that activity had been done by the um, other folks in the business office. And so we have in fact taken reduced, well they don't do payroll anymore I assume except maybe a check and balance every once in a while. And we also have uh, outsourced our payroll. And so um, it's not you know, it, it, it's not a question that we haven't in s some way helped to relieve the work of the people in the business office. Representative Cordelli. Thank you. Um, I was just pointing out again the position has been vacant since November and the position is not shown on the organization chart for 2018 that we presented with. But it does include the HR payroll coordinator that the representative was just referring to. Thank you. Representative Bucco. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, 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 just a question about that payroll position. It was intended to be temporary from the beginning, wasn't it? It's permanent. It was stated, well, it was stated that it was temporary, but it's permanent. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. Thank you. Representative Nelson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It just seems that all these issues keep coming up, the similar issues year after year after year of things not being provided. I don't want to say misinformation, but numbers that are not there. And it's very frustrating to come here and it almost, you think you've fixed it for the next year, and they just keep occurring and occurring and occurring. It just, just something's wrong. Come on. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I also want to remind the delegation that we also hired a, a county administrator at approximately $115,000 a year. And it seems like we keep adding more and more and still not getting the same benefit. So I, I, I would not be in favor of hiring the person. Butler. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, reducing the administrator to administrative assistant work um, seems a poor uh, use of our uh, administrator's time um, and uh, this it seemed clear to me in the subcommittee that um, the work being done in the administrative office um, can uh, definitely use the support of an administrative assistant um, and although it was questioned in the subcommittee meeting and the uh, chart of accounts was uh, raised and discussed and uh, that the administrative assistant position not being there was an oversight um, is only part of this discussion. I do not understand why we're in this position relative to a recording secretary for the delegation. And, you know, we've, we've had heard about it and we've had this... Uh, uh, emails uh, to, you know, highlight the issue to a certain extent, but I do not understand why the commissioners have made this change when we had a successful um, situation that was working. Um, and if not today, then I would like a clarification of why it was done, and are we playing a uh, power game and a uh, tit for tat, which you're seeing happen now in this vote um, because of um, 
an issue that did not need to be uh, confused um, with something that was working successfully both with an administrative assist assistant position and with the delegations recording secretary. It's just frustrating. I, I feel the same frustration as you. The motion, um, the motion uh, before us, Representative Butler, would you be able to read the motion as you understand it? The motion made by Representative Chandler, seconded by Representative Cordelli, is to eliminate the administrative po uh, assistant position um, on line uh, uh, 007 um, and reduce that line by 20,800 to 243757, I believe. Representative Lee, 787, I'm sorry. Sorry, they don't, they don't put, yeah. There would also be movement in the corresponding lines as well, so we don't want to maybe. Right. We want to just leave that number open and with the changes with all the other corresponding numbers before we go to the bottom line. That's on that line, though. All the other lines would be uh, appropriately adjusted. Just make sure that everybody's aware of that. Could, uh, could you read the first part of the motion again? I um, to eliminate the administrative assistant position on line 007 um, and reduce the that line by 20,800 to 243,787. Okay. If, if I might. Please. Um, I guess that... Uh, I would prefer to reduce it to that number, but allow the administrative salaries to figure out how they're going to do the work, rather than specifically targeting that position. We've taken the money. So rather than... I mean, but I, that's just my... If I could... Um, yes, if, if instead of uh, the motion saying to eliminate that position, um, then if the motion said simply to reduce that line by 20,800 to 243,787, that would allow the administration to do with it what it would. Is that what you were saying? That's basically what I'm saying. Representative Chandler, are you okay with that? No. Okay. Um, Accede to the wish of the delegation. The motion currently reads. Well, we need a second to that. I'll second. Discussion? I'll just withdraw my motion and she can make a new one, and that way it will be clean up for you. And Representative Cordell, are you okay with that? Representative Umber moves to uh, reduce line uh, 007 in the commissioner's budget by 20,800 to 243,787. Just that one. Just that one. Okay, motion. Seconded by Representative Crawford. Okay. Okay. Everyone, everyone clear on the motion? Yeah. Cards to take a walk. I do. Representative Avalani? Yes. Representative Bucco? Yes. Representative Butler? No. Representative Chandler? Yes. Representative Camo? Yes. Representative Cordelli? Yes. Representative Crawford? Yes. Representative Damaris? No. Representative Kinnerk is not here. Representative Marsh? Yes. Representative McCarthy? Yes. Representative Nelson? Yes. Representative Schmidt? Yes. Representative Umberger? Yes. Representative McConkey? Yes. Uh, how many do we have? 15 nine. minus 1 is 14, so that's 12 to 2. Thank you. Question. Yes. Could you, could I, someone on the subcommittee or someone ask, why have we lumped the administrative salary in with administrative salaries? Um, you better ask the commissioners. We I'll were, ask anyone. Uh, we were not, we the, the, we the delegation subcommittees uh, did not think that was a good idea, but that's what we, um, can I ask? Yes. 
Well, I'd like to ask the commissioners why they did that and what they're proposing to pay the administrator in this year, 2018, as part of that whole thing. I can, I can give you that number. Okay, what's that? It's uh, 114. I don't know if you need a motion. Or what, can we separate that out? I, don't, I understand why they want to hide the amount, because it's, it's overpaid. But nonetheless, it should be on its own line, I think. Can we do that? Or? We, could, we, could, we can recommend that, that, that's, that salaries are broken out, which I believe is the way it had been done years previous. Yes. Mm -hmm. The change was made, if I remember right, in the last this two, year. this year. Yes. So we would, uh, if we could make a note that we would uh, recommend to the commissioners that they return salary lines and broken out uh, individual positions. Now I would recognize the chairman, mm -hmm. Madam Chair. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> um, certain departments have always been in the salary line, and other departments, the head has not been in the salary line. So the administrator thought that this year all of the departments would be the same, and he chose to put them all in the salary line, the heads of the department in the salary line. But well, in the past, some such as registry of deeds have always been in the salary, the head of the department is in the salary. Thank you, Reverend Chairman. Yeah, I, I would respectfully say I can understand why he would want to do that, but I don't think that it should be that way, so. Thank you. And our recommendation, um, unless I hear different from the delegation, next year we would go back to the process that would separate that out. Um, Representative McCarthy, and then I'll come through. Yes, I, I, I made a statement, I prepared a statement relative to this because they combined six different lines in, in the sheriff's budget into one, including overtime and the, the sheriff himself, blah, 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 blah. All six lines. And I, I looked into it. An RSA 2414, Roman Normal 1A states, only the delegation has the authority and power to make appropriations. It also clarifies that there are two parts to an appropriation, the amount of money and the purpose. The purpose means, and it's described in the law, a goal or aim to be accomplished through the expenditure of public funds. And it's Stipulates they must be specific. The, pur the purposes must be specific. By changing the purpose of an appropriation, which is half of an appropriation, as described in the line item column, one also changes the appropriation without authority. The practice must stop, in my opinion, moving, commingling, amending appropriations without consultation and approval from the delegation is, in my opinion, a violation of statute. It contradicts the specificity required by law, gives totally false impressions as to the actual cost associated relative to individual departments, and makes it much easier to utilize the deceptive practice of budget padding. Thank you, Representative Bucco. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to make a note that it's not just the commissioner's budget, it's all the other departments that have also combined all the salaries. Oh, if, I'm, yes, I, I, if I may, because it's a little difficult when you just get this document on Friday before we meet, which is another and absolutely inexcusable. Never, I don't even understand it. I, I can't imagine why we haven't had these figures available to us in a timely fashion. 
they, they well, have, I can't understand. Yeah, well, no, they, they have been adjusted, Representative. They've been what? They have been distributed and adjusted from time to time. These are the final numbers, and we're just getting them today. Right. The final meeting was Friday. We didn't have, if I may? Yes. We did not have the commits, the end of the year report. Showing what we'd spent last year. Oh, yes, sir. March. Uh, yeah, yes, if it seems to be the uh, will of most of the people here, and, and I would suggest that it probably does, that we uh, separately budget for the county administrator's salary, why don't we just subtract that number out of line 007 and put it in line 006? Because there's no reason why we can't do that. That's right. Thank you. We would hope they would. Yes, um, I would also like to weigh in on the fact that we should not commingle elected officers' salaries mm -hmm. with general salaries. Mm -hmm. So, because the delegation sets the salaries for the elected officials, which include the sheriff, the treasurer, the uh, register. register of deeds, and so and the county attorney. And the county attorney. And so by co-mingling those, uh, we are not letting the public know what we have, in fact, approved for their salaries. And uh, as, as well as the commissioner's salaries are separate in here. But that kind of bothers me. And I think that uh, it just is not as transparent as it could be because we are well, thank, you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And following on that, it's that, I mean, with all due respect to the sheriff, who, I mean, if, if he decides to run for re-election and people look at his salary in this proposed budget of $940,000, they might have a little concern with that. That's, it's just, I don't understand it, why these things happen. Which is why, at some point, I'm going to make a motion to eliminate the, the salary for the county administrator, by the way, so just to pay for that, so. Okay. Yes, I would just like to add that in the sheriff's budget, 2016, there were 39 appropriations. This year, there's only 25. Where'd they go? They've been co-mingled, moved around, and in 15, there was even more. There was 40 some odd. So we went from in 19 uh, 2015, we went from 44 or 46 appropriations down to 25. Nobody asked. And we're the, we're the only people with the authority to make an appropriation. But nobody asked us. If, if I could ask, Kevin, is it possible for next week to break to break that out? <coughs> is this line, is this put in such a way that you would not have the opportunity to pull out the uh, uh, elected official salaries and show them separately? Most of them are, are already, they're still pulled out anyway, so. So the register of deeds has never been pulled out, but I can pull hers out. But I, I think I have to add a completely new line. This was never set ever. Okay, so it is possible to do. Yep. Thank you, and thank you for that. Representative Cardelli. Uh, yes. Just a moment. The salary attorney, attorney salary, was showing last year 72 nine. This year it's 468000 so it's more than just the um, what you said. Right. Because right. historically, no, right. I was just, just saying that the, the, I would have to create a new line for the Register of Deeds because it's never been separate. But the other, like the ones that are not pulled apart, I can pull them apart. But, she, but I believe saying that she would be able to add a line on to it and then put that in. And the other departments would be taken care of. Representative Cordell, was there Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I think it's a related issue. Um, I noticed on the uh, revenue budget worksheet, uh, the column that in the past has been adopted budget on the revenue worksheet is titled revised budget. And I have no idea what that means. I think we've made it clear in the past that 
the adopted budget should be the adopted budget. Once again, brings brings us back to a point Representative Nelson had made that we we go through this same discussion year after year. So I don't know what the answer is, other than months before we start the budget process next time that um, the chairman, with the assistance of the delegation, is going to have to make this known before we start the process. If I may. Yes, Representative. Just to follow up, there something. Could we get an explanation on what revised budget means for 2017, as opposed to what was adopted? It's, it was, I believe when we were doing, in 2016, we were doing, we had the adopted budget and then we had budget adjustments, so we had to have a column. And that final column, our software people renamed this. I can have them rename it back to adopted. That's not a problem. Well, if I may. Yes, please. I don't care so much about what the title is. Could you assure us at some point that this revised budget number is the same yes. budget number that we approved yes. last year. Yes, it's the same. There were no changes in 2017 for those budget numbers. It was from 2016. It was just a naming because we had to have an extra column. But the final column got renamed to revised. So that's, that's the final one. Thank you. Representative Buko? It seems that these questions are causing more confusion. I only see a revised on the revenue worksheet. Right, that's right. what that yes. he was talking. Yeah. Yes. And it's not, and it's in the, it's the middle column. Correct. Yes. And that's not a column, it's not a same line on the expenditure sheet. No. Thank you. Representative McCarthy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would just like to mention that the two most important lines in the budget as far as the people who are working on it and, and, and for the following years, is one, the adopted budget, which should never be changed once it's approved, and two, is the actual usage. And it has to be the actual usage. If money is moved in by a transfer, it's got to show under that actual usage line. <clears throat> and, and, you know, when we first put this law into effect, there's a, there's, a, there's a learning curve to it. If, if you look at the budget and you see, okay, this line, they exceeded that, but they did it properly by moving an appropriation with permission. But at least you know that was a wrong figure in the, in the last year, so maybe we ought to increase it a little bit for this year. But if you fudge on the numbers, you can't do that, and that learning curve is gone. You get nothing out of it. So th those two are the most important. One, the, the uh, adopted appropriation, and two, the actual usage. Thank you. Seeing no further discussion on that matter. Boy, am I in now. Where are you? <laughs> okay, I would like to move $7,937 for the treasurer. Second. Thank you. <laughs> Motion motion has been made on the treasurer and the number moved was was it seven nine three seven? Yes. yes. Uh, been made and seconded. If you're in favor, is there discussion? We did this one. It's on page, page two. two. There you go. Frank, you made the motion where are we traveling? Where are we traveling? <laughs> The travel is because our last treasurer I'll come, lived, I'll come back. Our treasurer lived in Wolf Coyle and our new treasurer lives in Conway. And that's why the increase in the uh, now if you want Joe to move <laughs> you might have to change the salary. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot, but um, I'll second that. That is my I believe you was I second it. Uh, you did, yeah. Sorry, I, yeah. If you want to, you're more than welcome to. I am fine to have your name. All right. So everyone, everyone understand the motion. If you're in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Before we go, Representative Bunberger. Yes. 
Is there anything else on the commissioner's side that we could handle at this time, or any further motions at this time? Oh, okay. No. Okay. Seeing none, we will proceed. Chairman, I move special fees and services 483779. No, that's incorrect. I, I will withdraw my motion. Thank Chairman. you. Okay, special fees and services. Um, the elder care line was deleted. The inmate the advertising was for uh, HR, and we directed the, um, uh, the business office to put the advertising wherever it belonged, and not as one as a special fee, because they made the decision to just to uh, do HR differently than it had been in the past, and so each individual HR person needs to be responsible for their portion of the budget. We also eliminated the inmate medical fund uh, in special fees and services, and that is a, uh, if we want to have that, then it should go to the uh, House of Corrections line. How much money was that, Representative? 25000 Thank you. I don't, uh, uh, I don't see those lines. I don't see those lines in this most. Because they're gone. They right. move. Uh, 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 people wanted to know why. Okay, we also Didn't eliminated the emergency and contingency fund, and the figure that we have that we approved was four eighty-three three nineteen. I did not look at this number. This is 779. I'm sorry, Representative Mumberger, your number? My number is 483-379. So $460 difference. Well, she just said, if I may? Yes. First she said 319 and then she said 379. 483, 3 what? 19. Okay, I wrote down my number. Is that right? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Okay, so we have a we have a motion um, and second in special fees and services with a bottom line of four eight three three one nine. It has been moved and seconded. Is that the right number? No, I don't know. I have a oh, question. Yes, yes. please. Yes. yes, question. Representative Chairman. I guess my question is. We've been given this sheet which says these are the final figures, and we're into our third one now, and they're not. And I'm, where does, where's the discrepancy? It's not much money now, I get that, but pretty soon we may start talking about real money. Where is the discrepancy between those 483.779 and 483.319? I mean, we can prove the bottom line, but we need to find it here somewhere. Okay. Further discussion? Okay. Representative Marsh. If you add them up, the number's correct. Yes. 483779. So uh, that means we should probably cut one of these other lines if you want to approve a lower number. All right. Maybe our math was wrong on last Monday. But everything is reflected as it should be. So if the. The motion's been amended, if I understand, to. I withdraw. Yeah, 383779. Okay, so. Move. Move. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion for 483779 for special fees and services as presented. Moved by Evelyn, seconded by Muller. Como? Discussion? If you're in the favor of the motion of 483779, you signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, motion passes unanimously. Representative Nelson, I have to go backwards. Could somebody read the motion on the treasurer? What that final number was and how it was worded, please? Um, it, was, it was simply to approve the uh, amount of $7,937 for the treasurer's uh, account. Okay. I, I thought somewhere was mentioned for his salary. No. I hate to hurt no. his feelings. Oh. But. <laughs> he would I love to have that. 
We would love that. Yes. Back. Next next item. <coughs> Commissioners have that line. Mr. Chairman, I move the attorney line five six nine eight four one as presented. Represent. Wait just a moment. We can't present that because we don't know what the costs are going to be for dental and medical. Yes, Representative Abelai, um, if you look through those lines, there isn't any expenditures for um, medical or dental. They've oh, been, they must all be over. Moved, they must all be over in the commissioner's office. Okay. All right, sorry. That is quite all right. So this is 569 plus the medical and dental benefits for them. Yes, ma'am. There's another one that all salary lines are combined in with, with employees and elected individuals. Yeah, she's going to take care of it. So motion uh, has that been seconded, 569-841. Second. Seconded by Butler. So okay, discussion. Might, yes. If I might. Um, this is another one of those, I hate it when they don't attribute all of the costs to the attorney to the attorney. Okay. Because medical and dental costs should be reflected here. And um, I have no clue. I know you went through the attorney's office. I have no clue how many people are in the county attorney's office. Uh, but I'm positive that if you looked at medical and dental for them, you would become close to $100,000. And so I just am... Uh, I just don't like that. I didn't like it when uh, it was done two years ago, and I like it even less now. But would the would the representative be more comfortable if the motion uh, made note that this number does not reflect um, insurance, and dental, and/or health insurance? That would be fine with me, but it's not necessary. Uh, yes, can I ask a question as to why we've increased the budget by about $100,000 in the office? Is there another attorney that I, I, I just don't know? There is. There is. Okay. That's the reason why. That's the total. Uh, the explanation was due to it. Representative, do you want to follow up on that? I will. If you yes, please go right ahead. Um, we did that last year. We budgeted for a partial position of a new attorney, and this is the full year's budget. Thank you. Just a note. Okay. Further questions? So if you're if um, the right page, if you're in favor of the attorney's uh, budget uh, shown to be 569-841, which does not reflect health or dental insurance, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Passes unanimously. Person have aye. Mr. Chairman, I move the victim witness assistant at the 229649. Uh, Representative Avalani moves uh, victim witness assistant grant uh, 29649. Is there a second? A second. Seconded by Representative Coffin. Discussion? Discussion. Yes. Now we're only including the grant. Is that what you're doing? We're approving your position. Okay. Position. The bank will come. I was agreeing what was here. It is the it is the position. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any further question? Can I just have a question? Yes. Um, it is significantly lower than last year. Is that because we get less of a grant or because there's less of a need? Representative Babylon. The um, salary advocate was moved into the attorney's lines for budgetary purposes because it was not covered by the grant, so it looked like we were not. Representative Cardelli. I, I think in our discussion in the subcommittee, the victim witness advocate was half time in the attorney's lines. And so I. Yeah, that position was split between the two of them. Right. And then we just moved it all to the attorney line because that's where she spent most of her time. <coughs> okay, further question? So we have increased the uh, county attorney by another employee.
she was already she was already there performing those duties. We just because the grant only covers thirty five thousand. We have just approved more. increasing the attorney's office by another employee because they are being paid by that person by that group and not by the grant. Go right ahead. Okay. I just yeah, the, I, I believe your statement is correct. It is it is correct. It's I just, just want to make clear that yeah. we've added an, another position. Because I think the grant's gonna come through a thirty five thousand and it wasn't um, how they how they were how they were appropriating the money wasn't correct. It's an adjustment, but your, adjustment. your point that it is another person in that department is correct. Representative Cordelli. Thank you. I believe that there is also a new part-time administrative assistant in that department, 30 hours. You're speaking of the attorney's office, Correct. which we've already approved. Yes. So the motion, motion is for victim witness. Yes, sir. Which is uh, 29,649. If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Passes unanimously. Representative Avalon. Mr. Chairman, uh, red move registry of deeds 528789. Excluding all the benefits someplace else. And all the benefits are placed in the commissioner's line items. Motion, motion's been made by the line to approve. What was your number here? Uh, 528789, Mr. Chairman. 528789 for the Registry of Deeds. Motion's been made, seconded by McConkie. Discussion, please. We have a list of more equipment? Yes, we do. For the... Um, Madam Registrar, do you have a list or... Okay, got it. Got it? Okay. Thank you. 528-789. Further discussion? Sorry, what's the difference between the list and the amount? I'm sorry, the representative's question, I, I didn't hear your question. I'm sorry, the... the Overlook something apparently. The commission, the subcommittee's recommendation is forty-nine thousand three hundred five dollars, and the list we've been given is nine thousand three hundred five dollars. Right. Um, roughly forty thousand dollars and something else. All right. The uh, the subcommittee chair four. That would be me. Thank you. I know we had discussed it. Uh, Madam Rich, Please enlighten us. Yes. Why don't you address the question? Madam Rich, could you answer the question? The subcommittee new equipment line was $9,305. There was $40,000 in the uh, capital equipment line item of the budget, not in deeds, which was moved from the capital equipment line item back to the deeds budget. And the, and the item is, the $40,000 is? Is archival pres preservation of the official record. And, okay. And that's offset on the revenue side, but we Thank you for that. We increased the uh, copy, copy, copy cost to enable that to happen. Okay. Yes, Representative Chandler. Chief, thank you. What's the archival records maintenance for $60,000? The, the 60000 is the archival re records maintenance as well. It's just paid for in a different line item. And that is what was offset the revenue actually by raising the copy fee um, on January 22nd. It's all in the big picture for the long-term capital 
expenditure plan of maintaining our land records for the county. So is the question why it's not being shown as archival and being shown as um, new equipment? Is that is that the question then, Chairman? Just the amount. Okay. And why it's split up and why? It's we have we have the um, surcharge account, which is uh, usually paid for out of the 097 line item, and there is enough money in that to pay for part of the archival records maintenance. Yes, Representative Ellen. Could you explain part of the process that you're trying to accomplish with the replacing some of the damaged or older records? In, in a short, short period. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I could go on. Uh, I've had many um, demonstrations and shown, mm -hmm. shown you all the, the state of the record downstairs. And it needs quite a bit of restoration work to conserve it so that we have it for the future. It goes for years. Um, with the deed books, we have 3,500 of them, more or less, downstairs. And over 16,000 plans. A lot of them are in terrible shape. And they need some attention paid to them. At this point, we don't have any money. We don't have a maintenance budget. We've never had one for ages, as far as I know. It's time to put some money towards restoring our records so that we can maintain it. And this is a stopgap that you're doing here this as is, opposed to the proposal from the ATO. We don't need to know also. It's an RSA requirement that those records be maintained. Yes. Okay. You know, Thank not, you. Not general. Further further question on the equipment line or other questions to the registrar, Representative Cordelli. Uh, just on that archival records maintenance, um, it was $35,000 spent last year. That's correct. Right. And so this is... An increased appropriation to sixty thousand for this year. This is year two of a ten year plus plan. It, um, is there a copy of that plan it's available? In, uh, downstairs in the business office, yes. Maybe that could be made available to the delegation. Sure. Since it's a ten year plan. We we also hope that the result of this at the at the end of, of this year will be a realistic number that can be brought forward for perhaps a bonding effort because the total cost mm -hmm. of fixing those records well, is well, it's up in the millions. Mm -hmm. And uh, the problem with that is we couldn't justify that number. That was a, a guess. Uh, we're hoping to have a hard number come out of this and that will I think the commissioner's intent is to bond that at a future date, and, uh, and then we'll go forward with a realistic number. Thank you. Representative Nelson? Yes, I'm wondering if there's any uh, fire suppression system or any safeguards that anything we have there isn't destroyed that's down there. Thank you. Madam Registrar? Yes, we have a Halon system a gaseous system for the whole vault area downstairs. It's also for the vault area upstairs, which used to be the probate vault back when the probate office was here. Um, and that system was put in place when the building was built. It's never Thank been you. used. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Any further questions on the Register of Deeds? Uh, motion's been made and seconded at 528-789. Seeing none, if you're in favor of the motion, it's signified by saying aye. Aye. If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes. Yeah, so. Representative Avalon. I'm just checking over the uh, Sheriff's Department. I don't see any. Medicare. Medicare is fine. The uh, dental or medical yeah. insurance. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move the Sheriff's Department at one. Million seven two zero four one four, as presented. Motion, motion been made on the sheriff's department at one million seven hundred twenty thousand four one four. Is there a second to the motion? Now you have to have second for discussion. Second by Kmo, uh, um, and we will recognize uh, Representative McCarthy in one moment. Sheriff, you had a comment. I just have one slight change. Is it a reduction, from? Sheriff? The um, town of Eaton had uh, cut some money from the projected amount. So
So with that line item for the town agreements, which is 03. Under details. Yes. Should read forty seven thousand three hundred and nineteen. Forty seven thousand three hundred and nineteen. Right. Which would be a reduction of something. Which changes that bottom line to one million seven hundred thousand. Say a lot of thirteen thousand. One million seven hundred thirteen thousand six hundred fifty three. What I came up with. Should be a 6,761 difference. 1,700. 1,713,653. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I withdraw my motion and have it reflect the new number that the sheriff has provided us 1,713,653. With uh, the reduction coming under details, sir, uh, reducing that from 75,000 to 43,000. 319. Is there a second to the motion? That's okay. It's actually town agreements. Yes. Town agreements? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Representative Camillo, do you want to okay. continue your second? Uh, yes. And just repeat that bottom line number again. Hold on. Okay. 1713653. One, I'll recognize Representative McCarthy. Do you have somebody at this point? Representative, I can go to Representative Crawford. Well, I had a problem coming up with a with, with a an exact figure when you add up all of these uh, salary lines, um, and it, 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 I couldn't get it to jive. They're saying 936,000. I came up with 924,518. Um, $12,000 difference. Um, unless my math is wrong, I think we should take $12,000 off the bottom line. Representative Avalon, um, I'm pretty sure some of those numbers have the raises for this year already budgeted for. It might, could be the difference in the number. Well, I was told the numbers I was given included the raises. But they hold it. Yes. Re Rep. Sebenberger. Until the contract is approved, there should be no raises reflected in here. We approve a dollar figure for that, and then it gets spread however it needs to be. But we have not approved the contract. They should not have put that money in here, and I don't know whether they did or not, because I wasn't on the committee. Yeah, my, my understanding, they're all in here throughout the budget. Well, then that's totally incorrect because we may disapprove the sheriff's contract. Yeah, I, I mean, I got uh, a 50 cent an hour raise increase for the uh, secretary and the, and the deputy lieutenants and the executive secretary, and the other raises were, went up uh, on the, the total salary line. So, um, okay, thank you. So, I, so, in light of that, we should pass on the sheriff's budget as we're going to have to do the same on the uh, Is that the suggestion? Yes. Mr. Chairman, I withdraw my motion. And the dispatch. And the dispatch. Is the dispatch covered under the sheriff's contract? Yes. Okay. Represent Bob. Thank you. So, does that mean that all the other lines uh, in these budgets, other than the uh, personnel lines uh, we are agreeing to. I don't believe we're with yes, I, I went over them and all of the other lines are correct. We did make a few changes um, on, on items. Uh, we reduced the $1,250 uh, $1, off of uh, line 018. We took $1,000. We saved $1,000 on uh, Line uh, zero two nine, uh, and it, and that's it until you get to the dispatch. But we we did make a few changes, but that they're all correct. That's already figured in the bottom line. The only problem I have is making getting the numbers to jive on salaries. 
there are six different salaries that they're putting together, and I can't get the numbers to correlate. Thank you. Okay. So, Rep. Champ Crawford. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to make note that on revenue for the Eaton contract has to be changed because the Eaton contract says 27040, and we just reduced that from uh, $6,761, so that line's got to be changed. Okay, so we'll make a note when we get to revenue for Eaton. Thank you. Thank you. So we do not have a motion at this point? I agree. No, we withdraw. withdrawn. Withdrawn. Okay. Yes, Representative. Mr. Chairman, I move medical referee for $18,000. Motion's been made for medical referee for $18,000. Is there a second? Second by Cordelli. Um, any discussion? Seeing none, uh, motion's been made for $18,000 for medical referee. If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is unanimous. Representative Avalon. Just a moment. Representative Umberger is recognized. Yeah, I am a thousand dollars off here between what what we agreed to and what's on this sheet. So if we could um a minute for okay. subcommittee. If we could, um, let's go to uh, Human Services, and I'll go back and check this. Good night. And, um, and then we'll... Mr. Chairman? Yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, hold on. Um, Commissioner? Um, I have a line item transfer for um, $1,023.06 that we're going to address later that's going to the medical referee, and I think that will make up what parents... No, I'm talking about administrative building, administration building. I'm not talking about... Are you okay with the medical referee? referee? Yeah, we already voted on that. Okay. I'm not oh, okay. Right. okay. I, I, I thought it was confusing. I thought, I thought we were walking back. No, 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 he no. was going yeah. to make a motion on the admin building, right. and that's why I said yeah. no. Uh, that thousand dollars was that the thousand dollars that uh, we talked about Friday subcommittee uh, that you were going to give me for carpet repair because you removed the uh, the no that is no, not the same money it's no, not. no okay yes. thank you I just need to go through and yeah, check it's not from medical referees we're on administrative we're on, we're on uh, the, we have a motion uh, administrative building you are not getting a motion until I check the numbers on the administrative yes yeah. thank you thank you. I will make a motion on the BEAS of five million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Seconded. Motion's been made. Human Services Department BEAS for five million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It's been moved and seconded. Seconded was by Representative Babel. Yes. yes. Discussion. This could be painful. No. Is, is there any? Is there we seeing no no discussion on that <coughs> number? Any discussion on that because nobody knows anything. Okay. So <laughs> if you're if you're in favor of five million two hundred fifty thousand, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Nay. Okay. And fourteen to one. Thirteen to one. Thirteen to one. Mm -hmm. no control. Um, Representative Kamal. Thank you. Okay. Are you happy with that if I signify it that way? Okay. So, 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 is it reflected here? Or do we need to adjust that by? It is there. Okay. <coughs> Yes, please. Representative Avalani, uh, speaking to administrative building. Yes, the adjustment was made on the uh, maintenance and building repair uh, for $1,000 to um, we make the carpet in the county attorney's office um, uh, work safe instead of uh, replacing the entire room of carpet. Where did you? That's the $1,000 addition. That's the $1,000 addition. So, what line is that? 
Can it come over as a capital request? For and then it come over. I'm sorry. It come over as a capital request from the attorney's office to replace the um, flooring. Um, discussion with um, our maintenance department. Um, he could get it done and lock safe for a thousand dollars. With my apologies. They like secrets. They love secrets. Well, we just did on Friday. Yeah, it was done on Friday. That was done on Friday. Doesn't matter. We had Saturday, Sunday. We had 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I will take that up with myself. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, okay. is it okay? Is it a motion? No. Okay. okay. The other issue that I had here is that we had refused, I thought, the maintenance and supplies from uh, 2500 to 2000 and the vehicle and something else, um, and the uh, vehicle expenses to 1500 But I guess that we agreed that the 2000 was okay, so I need to come to grips with what we did on the uh, maintenance and supplies, and I need to look at my notes because we had set that at two thousand. Okay. So we, we have adjustment right here. You still want more time to do that, ma'am? Yes, because okay. I may have, we may have changed our mind. Okay. So let's uh, let's proceed, Representative Avalani. Mr. Chairman, I move. GPW uh, 223890. Motion's been made uh, to approve 223890 for Department of Public Works. Moved by Avalani, seconded by McConkey. Discussion. Everyone on the same page? Bottom line is on page 10. Seeing no discussion, if you're in favor of the motion of 223890, you'll signify by saying aye. Aye. If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes unanimously. Mr. Chairman, I move information technology at 316993, as presented. Page 12. Three one, I'm sorry, 316993. Second. Okay. Been made uh, and seconded. Uh, discussion, Representative Cordelli. Thank you. Um, it, it would be my hope that uh, with our financial system, ACS, um, we've talked about it in the past. Um, I know that they're starting discussions about having ACS host the system, whether rather than it being located on a physical device here in the county. Um, we've also had discussion in the last budget that they should look into the purchasing module. I think that that would solve a lot of problems with credit cards, petty cash, purchasing on uh, with PayPal, etc. cetera. Um, and I think that that is included in the ACS hosted option but they have many modules that we are not taking advantage of. Department heads are currently maintaining their own spreadsheets to try and keep track of their expenses and whatnot. With the fiber optic network now in place, there is no reason why department heads cannot be given access to financial uh, information in the ACS system other than requiring the approval of the commissioners to go ahead with that. There is even a, per, uh, me, a budgeting module that the department heads can utilize to come up with their new budget rather than manually calculating Social Security, retirement, et cetera. Um, there is, you know, we talked about an administrat administrative assistant. A lot of administrative routine duties could be accommodated if we move forward with technology that is readily available, especially with the fiber optic network now in place. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that doesn't change our bottom line. That just changes our, we hope, attitude. And before I come, so 
does the subcommittee feel that you're making ground on that request? Uh, and this isn't as as Representative Nelson I might have to call it his statement now. Um, do you feel yeah. that they feel that you're you're getting somewhere with that? I think no. that I think that John has, has uh, John Rich is looking at it, uh, but he can look at it all day. If the commissioners don't enact what he's looking at, then Glenn's comment, no, is correct. But the, our IT contractor is, in fact, doing work in that area to help and assist the uh, commissioners and the business office and everybody in the county to, uh, to move forward in that direction. Please. I believe the comment was made um, by the administrator during that discussion that uh, they have chosen not to give the department heads access to the financial system. Representative Butler. Thank you. There was an IT committee uh, on which uh, I believe Representative Cordelli was sitting, and was that only relative to getting the fiber optic going, or does that subcommittee or that committee still exist? To my knowledge, it hasn't met in roughly three years and was not involved in the fiber optic network uh, discussion. To my knowledge, anyway. Um, Representative Chandler. Thank first. you. I just want to sound like a dancer. Uh, last year, we spent $2,200 of training. This year, we're asking for 10000 Yes. That's a huge increase. I don't know. That's Is there any reason to think they'll use that much? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't agree. But. And then licensing, licensing and computer expense contracts. Are those actual numbers? Licensing. For this year? Yes. Licensing and computer expenses. Uh, we have put all of the telephones under uh, IT and removed them from the other areas. And so, if you look at the telephone costs for like the commissioners, it's gone down. But this particular cost has gone up. Representative Cordelli. Thank you. Uh, just adding on uh, to the representative's comments, in the departmental telephone lines, um, it should only be you know, cell phones now that you see. Correct. And then I just have one. No, yes, please. Uh, that was just primarily some new uh, computer. Replacement and Replacement. new. Right. New. I don't know because I didn't get a list of those. Yeah. That was not provided. We can get that list. We can certainly get that list. Thank you. I thought I'd done pretty well on that list. So. Uh, pretty well. Pretty well. <laughs> uh, but not good. Uh, I may have missed it here, but I don't know. I don't believe so. <laughs> further, further question, comment? Well, um, if, if, if uh, Representative Chandler's not happy, I don't need it now. Oh, yes, yeah. but I might see it. Okay, because I'm sure in this stack I have it. You know, <laughs> we'll be back again, unfortunately. Happiness is a relative term. Okay. <laughs> so, do you want to not approve <coughs> the um, IT waiting on their equipment list? Uh, I, I don't. Don't. Chandler? No. no, I believe, I believe we can vote. vote. No, but that's no big deal. Well, I don't, I would prefer not to have a no vote, so. If well, one no vote, that's not going to make much difference, trust me. If it's because you don't have the list of no. equipment. No, it's, no. That does not seem to be the representative right. treason. So, okay. we do have a motion on the floor. Okay. So, we have a motion on the floor for information technology of 316-993. It's been moved and seconded. If you're in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Nay. Thirteen to one, uh, Chandler. If if I might, I'm yes. sorry. I knew I had it here. Okay. The um, the training is additional training associated with PCC, which is point click something or other. Care. 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 <laughs> point click care. That is in the uh, being installed in the nursing home. They do have part of the contract to provide training, but they did not believe that it was sufficient to take care of all of the training 
that was uh, that was needed. And so um, that's an issue that can be taken up with uh, Mr. Chandler because that was <laughs> the other Chandler, the other the other Mr. Chandler, your representative Chandler. So I just wanted to be sure that uh, that that was out there. Okay. Thank you. Representative Avaline. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I move cooperative extension 238937 as presented. Motion's been made for cooperative extension services at 238937. We have a second. Representative Bucco is a second. Discussion? Motion's been made for cooperative extension 3. 238937. If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Mr. Chairman, I need to abstain from that motion. Um, thank you. Um, motion passes 13 to 1 of Okay. Rep. MLI. Mr. Chairman, <coughs> I, move, I move the interest expense at 77199 as presented. Do have a second? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. On the interest expense, we just approved TAMS. And it's not reflected here. Should it be shown? Should yes. it be shown under there? Is the, the TAM the seventeen million dollars? Yeah, we got a seventy-two thousand there. This is the interest expense. We don't know what the interest rate is going to be. Yes, but yes, represent uh, the treasurer, please. If I may, uh, Chairman and uh, Representative uh, Umberger, um, while I don't have a specific rate yet for the TAM, uh, based on the information I've been able to gather at this point, it appears that the Fed rate has increased. Um, from a year ago, it was about uh, um, point. Uh, I believe it was about point seven five percent, and currently, I believe it's in the range of point one two five to one five zero. And the Fed has indicated that they're going to increase it a, probably another quarter at their meeting this month, which leads me to believe that our TAN rates, even though tax anticipation or rather tax exempt, those rates are going to go up, um, based on potentially a seventeen up to a seventeen million dollar TAN. And depending on our usage, I'm just concerned that that $72,000 figure may not be sufficient. So why don't we just wait on this one and ask uh, Joe to get back with us? Well, I do have a recommendation if you'd like. Okay. I'd like to be on the conservative side. Um, I'd like to increase that to 80000 or see that increase to 80000 Can I ask a question? Yes, Representative Chandler. Thank you very much, Mr. Chandler. How much was last year's ten? Uh, last year's TAN, I believe, we um, um, approved uh, 14 million, and we didn't use quite that much. If I may. Yes, Representative and Chandler. Did you take the TAN last year? Yes, we did. When? Oh, I'm sorry. When? Uh, we took the TAN at the end of February, I believe. So, but the rate was considerably yes, lower. So at least you're going to be one month different this year. That's correct, but the rate was considerably lower. I think the rate last year was uh, something like 1.4. Representative Chandler? Uh, okay, and I'm not going to argue with too much here, so I guess, but we only spent 63000 last year, so. Yeah, that was that was due to the management of when we actually used the TAM funds. Yeah. And, and we may be able to do the same thing this year. I just I don't want to have to come back and say, hey, we missed the budget mark on that uh, interest expense. Representative Chandler? No, that's fine. Okay. I'm just pointing those things out. So the proposal is to raise the uh, tax an anticipation note line to 80000 I'll make that motion. Second amendment. May I discuss? This? Yes, please. Okay. We do, if I'm not mistaken, we tried, we get a line of credit. That's correct. We don't we go and bring all the money in at the same time. That's also correct. And so with the line of credit, we get a standard uh, rate for the entire year. On the tax anticipation right. portion, yes. Yeah, on the 17. We're only allowed, if I may, 
were only allowed, uh, based on IRS regulations, a certain amount based on our cash flow projection and our need, there's only a certain amount of that that we're allowed to use as tax anticipation. If we do go over that, and we do each year, we have to do a regular, uh, you may want to call it a tandem, but we don't have the benefit of it being tax exempt, which translates to a higher interest rate, which would, was happened to us last year. And I suspect we'll do the same thing this year. My goal is obviously to get as much of it as possible under the TAN rate so that we don't have to use very much under the non-TAN rate, so to speak. Okay. Fair enough. Also, they're both on the line of credit, as Representative Umberger has uh, indicated. I will second uh, Representative Umberger's motion. <coughs> it's a new, a new bottom line for interest expense, as I see it, is $85,191 with an adjustment tax anticipation up from seventy-two to $80,000. Am I correct? That's correct. Okay. What's that bottom line again? 85199 Nine, nine. Thank you, Representative Smith. Okay, we have it. Yep. Yep. Moved and seconded. Yep. Okay, if you're in favor of that motion for 85,199, signified by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion. No. no. I'll, I'll move long term debt. Um, um, the what represent Chandler was, Thank you. was nay. Um, seven, Representative Bumberger is recognized for a motion. Yeah. Long term debt, $7,834. Motion has been made at $7,834 and it's seconded by Sorry. Representative Marsh. Any discussion? If you're in favor of the motion of long term debt, it's $7,834, a nice number. Uh, signified by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion is unanimous. Which was the last year the jail is now ours. Mr. Chairman, I move regional appropriations for 327 and 750. Motion's been made for regional appropriations for 327, 327, 750. I second the motion. Uh, discussion. Seeing none, if you're in favor of regional appropriations at 327-750, you signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion is unanimous. Uh, capital Reserve. I'm going to $336,400. I'm sorry, let me get back to you. Uh, capital Reserves. Capital page. I think it continues over yeah. to the uh -huh. Okay, I'm not exactly sure why. That's okay. No, it Is that not the same one? No, it has not. Oh, these are capital. Oh, these are capital reserves. Okay, right. sorry. I moved zero. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Is that really I the number better? Yeah. Okay. Zero. <laughs> Motion's been made. Capital reserves at zero. Made by Representative Bunberger, seconded by. Represented by Representative Butler. Um, discussion? Seeing none, if you're in favor of the motion, capital reserves at zero, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Passes unanimously. I move county convention at 36046. Second. Vote. Uh, we'll for discussion. Um, so the motion's been made, Carroll County Convention at 36046. Uh, made by Amberger, seconded by Cordelli. Discussion. Representative Avalon. The secretary expense has been removed. No, it has not. If you will look down at, uh, oops, it's not secretary's salary. Yeah. It is $2,850. It's the second line. I apologize. Not no apologies. I think in light of today, you don't even have to apologize. <laughs> yes, any any other further discussion? I'm just uh, uh, for Delhi. performance audit um, was added, performance audit contingency line. Um, the thought is that we would uh, do a repeat of the performance audit that we did um, three or four years ago at this point. 
uh, looking at the uh, business office, the HR functions, um, et cetera, the administrative functions, and see what recommendations have been um, uh, implemented, what have not, what the current status is um, in those areas, uh, especially in light of all the discussions that we've had um, over the past uh, several weeks in relation to um, administration. Uh, so this, I believe, is the same dollar amount that uh, was uh, used three or four years ago, the $26,000. And uh, I checked with the firm that uh, did the previous performance audit, and they said that that should be a, a good number. If I might. Yes, Representative Humber. I assume that uh, the chairman will appoint a uh, performance audit subcommittee to make recommendations. And although these were some items that we perhaps would discuss, we may or may not end up with that kind of audit. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's fair. Right. So we, we, we have it, we have we it in the budget and we will craft where it will go. Right. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. If, if we ask for a report, I guess, from the commissioners on what the recommendations were and where they stand, at least the yeah, if I, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. So okay, anybody can. I'll yes, we have, um, we have made several uh, requests as to where we are, um, and we have received some response on that and reluctance on others. And so I believe the feeling of this subcommittee uh, was that uh, because we don't, because our, our tool we have is to request, and it would appear that there has been resistance to answer our request. So it was our intent where performance audit contingency, the delegation has control of that direction, that we thought that would be our answer. So if I could, yes. so it appears, is this true that, so we're going to spend $26,000 to get answers to questions that the commissioner has sure. and refused refuse to answer? No, that's In, in some part. Well, yeah. Thank but, you. But, but I think that that's where uh, Representative Cordelli seemed to focus on, but we don't know what the focus is going to be until the subcommittee meets and determines what the, uh, what the requirements are. I mean, there are, I agree with you, that there are other areas that need a performance audit done. I think we have two members of our subcommittee. Yes. So, um, I hope that answers that, and I would, I would be in total agreement with your statement. Okay, so we have a motion before us, uh, Carroll County Convention of $36,046. Any further discussion? If you're in favor of that number, you signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes unanimously. First, have I Do we have somewhere else to go here? Yes, we do, but you can't go there. <laughs> First, Amber, could you clue me in where we are going to go? <laughs> well, uh, we seem to have a discrepancy in the MW. B, or the B, w, B, MVC between the number that I was given this morning. Okay, this would be and, this would uh, be an apology coming from this chairman again. Go ahead. No, it actually is mine. It's yours. I apologize to the representative. My math was off. Oh, so it's mine. Okay. So, so I, I apologize for that this morning. Okay. Give me, I gave so you which, the right which is the right number? It's the right number is on the sheet. Oh, the 140 is yes. the right My number. My map is off. I mean, we moved a couple things and I apologize. Okay, then I will move the 338 Okay, motion's been made for and second seconds. expenditures, uh, seconded by a representative of LA at $338,400. <coughs> Any discussion? Seeing none, if you're in favor of the motion at 338400, um, would you signify by saying aye? Aye. aye. Um, those opposed, nay. Motion passes unanimously. Mr. Chairman, I move the annex at 29478 as presented. Motion's been made. Is it seconded? Seconded by Butler. Um, the annex at 29478. Discussion? 
If you're in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. If you're opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Mr. Chair? Yes. I'm sorry, but I have to go on to another meeting and represent Cordelli. We'll continue to uh, uh, document the motions. Is it the same way to pay? I'm not telling. Hi. Yes, please. No, can we go back to the administration meeting? That would be wonderful. Okay, hang on. Page nine. Page nine. Page eight. Page eight. Yeah, the, the bottom line. Thank you. The bottom line is on page nine. Um, I, I, I want to point out something that folks may not be aware of. And that is on the um, oh, we have a salary line in here, so we can't do this anymore. Oh wait, no, that's okay. But um, we have a line that is called supplies. Something. It's called maintenance. It's called um, it's 039. Okay. Okay. Maintenance and supplies. yeah, 039. And um, you can see that that went up to five hundred dollars. Uh, what has what has happened? I guess what was explained to us is that the nursing home buys all of the supplies and then they charge the organizations that use those supplies. And what we were told was that the nursing home had been being a little cheated on how much they should receive. Okay. And so that's why we had originally reduced that to 2000 but then left it um, like it was. And that's why, you know, when my numbers were off just a little bit. The other area that um, we had some uh, question on was the vehicle expenses, and I just want to make sure everyone is aware that as soon as the sheriff gets his new vehicles, um, the administration will have two vehicles. Okay, they've had one for quite some time. It was a sheriff uh, cruiser. And uh, they are now since the sheriff is giving up two, they're now going to have, get the second vehicle. And with the second vehicle, um, they, they felt that they needed this amount to cover the gas and the expenditure for the two vehicles. And they have justified this by telling us that the, it will reduce the amount of mileage that is paid out, the dollars that are paid out in mileage. So that's why when we saw the number at the uh, 2000, we did not um, correct whatever it was, at the, uh, at the 2000 versus the 800 from the year before. Uh, we were kind of a little surprised, but that's the reason. And the mileage was reduced in this budget then to correspond? That's what they told me. I, I, I don't believe there is no mileage line under it's it's under, no, expense, no. under travel. Yeah, it's under travel. It's not in this area. It's all these two cars are used by everybody in the complex, so and okay. so everybody in the complex that has travel, their lines should have been reduced to correspond to however much percentage that particular organization uses. Kathy, are, are you under the understanding of that? Yes. Okay. 
Sheriff, and then I'll come back to you. If you want, I can give you one example. Um, we had a bailiff go to a two week school in Concord, and we paid because we weren't, didn't have the county car back then $666 for that two weeks for travel. So that is being eliminated basically for that to happen again by the county keeping at least two vacant cruises so all the personnel can use for training, conferences, and such and such. Can we park one of those down on the road and slow people down? <laughs> <laughs> Do anything. Represent Chairman Allen. Further you discussion? Yes. I'm sorry? Well, I think we should get past everybody. Yeah. Hard enough to get chairs. Yes, that's true. Okay. Um, any further discussion? Um, administration building? 154, 394. Moved and seconded. Seconded. Bye. Okay. I'm on. Sure. I'll second. If you're in favor, if you're in favor of the motion, uh, 154, 394, signified by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Back to page 16. Thank you. Representative Eveline. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of the victim witness grant in the amount of $32,500. Motion's been made, seconded by second. Representative Smith. $32,500 victim witness grant. Any discussion? Yes, Representative Hima. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the delegation was supposed to start the process of getting a grant review sheet, which would basically be added to the minutes so we're all under, we all understand what was being paid for with the grant. Do we have any of those at all? Madam Chairman? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said because I was concerned about the past number that you passed because we had changed the maintenance budget by $1,000, and I don't think the number that you passed added that $1,000 into it. Are you good? Well, yep. we're, I, I may. The, the number that I heard, perhaps incorrectly, was there was an increase of $1,000 to the carpet at the uh, repair. repair at the attorney's office. So I don't know. If you will look at 081, it goes from 14 one to 15 one, Right. Which is where that thousand dollars is accounted for. Right, but I didn't think it was, the number that was passed in the total. I don't, didn't know if that was in there or what? Yes, it was. Okay, I apologize then. No problem. Okay, the, the question from the representative was, it was agreed in the past that under grants that there would be, would you pick up on that conversation? Yes, well, a grant review committee sheet for all the grants that we have to vote on so the delegation is aware of the background and the details of those grants and do we have any of those um, those documents the grant review sheet the form that has the no, amount I have the, the form and did not make copies for everybody well yes I believe that if the delegation is going to vote on grants they should be more aware of the good work of the grant review committees that reviewed the grants and the details to them. I have been missing. Uh, Chairman, do you have do you have those individual sheets for all of these grants, and we proceed on to some something else? I don't think we've ever got any. Yet. Is that readily available to you or not? These grants that have been approved by the committee. The ones we're about to vote. Yeah, we have the victim witness, the dispatch center grants, the DOC. Yes, yes, we have all of them. Would you like to postpone that? I would. Be, uh, here's a, this is a good example. Um, there was an amount, I believe, on this, one of the sheriff's grants that wasn't accounted for originally, which was the amount it's going to cost. I believe it was a $6,000 amount for part of the grant that wasn't disclosed during the, the process. And I think everybody should be aware of those changes. Okay. So I think what I found out is these are anticipated grants Summer. so they haven't been applied for they haven't been no, some have but I don't think all the cover sheets have been done yet 
we got the cut. Okay, let me squeeze. We got the cover sheets um, two months ago. The grant committee passed those the cover sheets questions we had and the format. And some of the grants were approved before that, and some are in the process of being uh, requested and approved now. And there is a problem with one of the sheriff's third part of a grant. Did you want to address that? Yeah. I think when the time comes, if is the this time is the now? format. But, oh, no. Well, we're, we're going to pass ahead until we can, get, we can get the documentation that you have for us, and we'll come back. Wait until next week, if it, if it can't be brought readily available in the next half hour or so, no. then we'll... No, no, Because some of them haven't been filled out. Okay. That's all we have to do with this one. That's true. Okay. Let's move on to revenue. Does everyone have their revenue sheets? And we're pretty close here. No, go right ahead. Representative Allen, you recognize. Was there an adjustment to the income, Sheriff? Yes, to the um, Eaton Town Agreement. Yep. Uh, line 31. Should be a minus $6,761, which is $20,279. $20,279. Did not do the bottom line math on that. So we need a bottom line. Someone calculate that from 36580. <laughs> 35-3819. 35-3819. Is that good? Yep. I'm sorry, what's, what's your number, Representative? 353819. Representative Avalani moved sheriff income at 353819. Is there a second to the motion? Yes. Seconded by Representative Von Berger. Discussion? Yes. Just for the record, when we use numbers, we should say three hundred fifty-three thousand eight hundred nineteen dollars. That would be helpful. I would concur. <laughs> Any discussion? So, a motion's been made and seconded for three hundred fifty-three thousand eight hundred nineteen dollars. Thank you for that correction. Um, seeing no further discussion, if you're in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes. Mr. Chairman, I move registry deeds income, 969500 The motion's been made, seconded by Marsh, mm -hmm. Representative Marsh, at 969 Okay. Um, motion to May seconded at nine hundred sixty-nine thousand five hundred. Um, recognize for exempt chairman. Uh, thank you. I'm just wondering why the subcommittee thought the uh, actual income from the reporting fees would be lower than this last year. If, if we could here, I mean, Representative Schmidt, is that you? I don't know who it is. Well, no, for you know, for registry of deeds or for the registrar. I know you're experiencing a tremendous growth this year, and what was your thought on next year? The recording fees 
are calculated on a formula that's been used for years. So you take the first nine months of the year and you divide that by 12 and multiply it by 12. Nine. Divide by yes. Nine. <laughs> um, so the first nine months of the year project what you think that the, the next year will be. Um, that's the formula we've used for years. It's statewide that the registers use that. It assumes that the first nine months of the year will project out what the following year will be. It's worked well, unless a, a crisis happened. So. Thank you. Representative Chandler? Well, it doesn't seem to make any sense that it would be less than the previous year. I mean, the first nine months of last year must have been higher than nine months before, and so it would seem to think you would be anticipating an equal amount to last year, if not more. I, I guess, I don't care, but it just doesn't make any sense. It's, it is more. It's a projection, it's a formula that that is used. It's all a gamble, really. It is more, isn't it? No. Perhaps, pardon me? The income for the year was much, yes, it was quite a bit more than last year. I get my name. Yes, I, right, I, I understand that. That's why I'm saying I don't know why you projected less income this year. You're projecting less income this year than you took in last year. Well, last year's. 381. Last year's budget was $343,000. We actually took in 381. The fall is when we do the majority of our business. February is, we don't do much at all. So if you base it on the first nine months, you're pretty secure that you're going to have the income come in. I would hate to base it on all 12 months. Well, you can't really because you budget for this in September. It's it makes absolutely no, I'll just point out, it makes absolutely no sense, but that's fine. And if you applied your model for the first nine months, it's the number that you came up with? Yes. Okay. I, I remember similarly arguing this point for a number of years not to win also, Representative Chairman. Which is why last year's budget was 343, but we actually took in 381. I'll point out that it's not very, it doesn't work, but that's okay. In good years, it, it, it's a little low. In bad years, it's high. And there have been bad years when it budget has not been Any further discussion? Any motion? Wait a second. I got discussion. Yes. Well, I, it, I guess it's red with red next door. I'm having to see you there. Three red, red with red. Four with red. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Representative. Oh, okay. Um, the online access service. Uh, this is suggesting that there will be no more people looking for online access service since it's the same, it's actually a little bit less. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to know, have we stopped, uh, has everybody signed up? Or are we not accepting any additional people? Thank you. I would love to take your subscription. Um, we, we, we do take uh, more online access service annual fees. Um, there, it's usually an attorney's office, a title company's office, a bank, somebody who's going to be making a lot of copies. Um, there's a limited number of businesses out there that utilize the registry resources. Uh, I'm, proud to say that the number is consistent and they are signing up and paying for this service and continuing on this year, which is the second year. Um, you can still look without paying for this fee. But they have the ability at, the, at their offices to print and they like that. So That's what it's for. It's mostly for the businesses that use the regular registry on a regular basis. I got that. But we would love more people to sign up. It appears to be flat. Yeah. I think there's a limited number of. Okay. Further, further. We should stop letting people look for free. Further questions. Further discussion. 
Motion's been made at $969,500. Seconded by Marsha. If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes, carries unanimously. Anything else at this point, Rich Allen? Yep, we can move the jail income at $125,420. Second. Uh, motion made and seconded by Marsh. $125,420. Jail and HOC House Corrections Income. Questions? Discussion? Representative Chandler. Second, can you just explain why you are proposing such a decrease in borders? Thank you. Superintendent? Sure. Well, borders are unknown to begin with from year to year, but last year we had quite a few from Stratford County as they were building, uh, doing some construction work in there, and that's roughly almost $30,000 for them. We also took in Belknap County for a while, too, when they were doing construction. Whereas it stands right now, we don't have those same numbers and don't anticipate having those same numbers from those facilities. Okay. Thank you. Representative Von Berger. No, no further. Right. No further. Representative Cardelli. Are we still taking in um, federal? We've never gotten any federal inmates. We have a contract. Right. But we've never received any. Nope. And we're not the only jail either. Sorry. Yes. No, that's right. Uh, yes. We're in, we're, uh, a lot of jails have contracts but don't receive them. You have Cheshire County who has a contract tasting what to Stratford County takes the rest from there. Uh, mm -hmm. So those large facilities have most of them. I, I saw on TV that a sheriff uh, or a sheriff and jailer in uh, superintendent in another uh, state had put up a nice sign, called it the uh, Green Roof Inn, and we're open for vacancies for anyone that wishes to break the law. I didn't know if you had any intent of a memorial. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, $125,420 for jail and HOC income. Any further discussion? If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes unanimously. Representative Avalai. Mr. Chairman, I move farm income of $50,200. Motion's been made for farm income for $50,200, seconded by McConkey. Uh, discussion? If you're in favor of the motion, farm income at 50200 signified by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion passes unanimously. Anything else we can do? That's the interest income. Yes, please. To the treasurer. Do we have our um, um, surplus invested in any tax bearing accounts or anything like that? Our surplus as it is, uh, is swept through a, sw a sweep account each night and invested and we paid for that. However, interest rates being what they are, you don't see very much income from it at all. In other words, whatever our balance is at the end of the day, it's swept out of the account, brings it to zero. Those funds are invested overnight and the next morning, those funds are put back in the account. Okay. Oh, kind of yes, yes, go follow up, please. Okay. Um, the surplus, the money left over from year to year, is that reinvested somewhere in an interest bearing account? No, sir. That, that surplus that you see, um, that is a fund balance that a lot of folks refer to. <clears throat> that fund balance changes on a daily basis depending on your revenues that come in and your expenses that go out. That is a snapshot in time, that um, fund balance, if you will. And that snapshot is at the end of the year. That doesn't mean that we have a, an account over here with all those funds. <coughs> those funds are basically in the general fund, and they're being utilized on a daily basis depending on our expenses and our revenues. Further question? Representative Chandler. Well, yes, and I understand maybe we don't get much money, but I guess the subcommittee didn't recommend putting anything in that money. And we did take in almost a thousand dollars last year. I don't know what we. I don't know. It just seems like. We're going to have the line, and that's taking something. 
I was just wondering why the subcommittee didn't recommend it. Anyone from the subcommittee comment on interest income? I don't think uh, we need to look at that. I don't think so. I, I know we didn't because the um, interest income. It doesn't amount to, I don't. Okay, would you, would you like to put a dollar in there? Just a minute. Our, uh, interest income, when you get to the right page, that's expensive. I believe the page two of uh, mm -hmm. revenue. No, page but I'm, two. I'm just looking over here. There should be a, there was nothing reflected in expenditures. So, no, we did not look at that. But I have no problem putting in the 500. So, I'll move 500. So, Representative Umberger moves $500, seconded by Representative Marsh. Further discussion? If you're in favor of the motion, interest income now to be $500, signified by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. I don't know the answer to that. The representative asked the question that surplus was supposed to be in an interest-bearing account. Does anyone in the delegation have recollection to that? No. no. Our, our, if I may? Yes. Our um, operating account, um, we pay no service charges on it, part of our agreement. Um, however, they don't pay us any interest on it either. But what we do do is we put it into a sweep account. Mm -hmm. And so that's where it's invested. Okay. Thanks. 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 Yes. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay. So take us that's the end of revenue that we can work on. Okay. Can you answer anything else at that point? Uh, nursing home, sorry. Yes, thank you. Nursing home income motion. To make that. I've asked Representative uh, Evelina to uh, present those numbers, please. Just reviewing adjustments. Last year we had 193,000 in income from meals. Are we expecting less of a number this year? Yes, if we don't, because of the borders, so that goes off. It goes hand in hand with the unit population. Okay, because what is budgeted right now is 210,000 from income from meals in the nursing home. Could should we adjust that number down if we're not expecting as many orders? The average meal is eight dollars a day. And and ties it out by how many inmates average on 64, 64 inmates per day. It comes out right around 207, 210. Yeah, it comes right away. Okay, because last year was 193. Oh. If, if I could. Yes, please. It was 193 last year. I just want to make sure that we're budgeting correctly if that was a higher number based on occupants. Mm -hmm. If we're going to have less, so we can budget less because it is on the revenue side. Mm -hmm. So we're not. And that, to be honest with you, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a guess of what we're going to be at. So. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I move $11,449,180 for the nursing home revenue. Second. Seconded by Marsh. Um, motion is $11,449,180.
for the discussion. For the discussion, this was the um, presentation made by the commissioners, and the subcommittee accepted it. So there was no changes in subcommittee. Thank you. Representative Umberger. Yes, the only thing I, and it's probably because I'm not on the nursing home subcommittee. We could get you there. No, we couldn't. Um, but, <laughs> but you had indicated, well, we had indicated a couple years ago that uh, we were trying to follow up on our Medicaid payments from the state, and we have not heard anything about that, and where that stands as far as good debt, bad debt, and in quite some time. And so I would just ask that uh, we put that on the agenda for future so that we can have a clear understanding if we are still making the same progress or Thank you. whatever. You're Thank talking you. about the contractual allowances? Well, no, it's for a building. Yeah, if, if I could do a, a brief discussion, I think it's extremely important. Uh, Mr. Chandler, my understanding is that you're doing this very well. Very well. Our accounts receivables are, I think, at an all-time time low. Um, the Medicaid situation is more of a state legislature issue. It's in the midst of a uh, bill, I think it's 816 now, in terms of what the future of Medicaid is going to be. That has nothing to do with this. But it, it collect, collecting monies owed, I believe you're in the 90 plus on that? 98 plus percent. 98 percent. That's, that's what I believe. At the nine month level. Yes. That's good. That's wonderful work by, that's what uh, I, by your people. That's what I wanted. Yes, that's what I thought you were yeah. looking for. All right, so, good. all right, so we have a motion before us, $11,449,180. If you're in favor of the motion, you signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay, motion carries. Unanimous. Yes, Representative. Yeah, obvious answer to this, but the subcommittee, whoever this is, the subcommittee recommendation on total revenues is two million four hundred and ten thousand. I don't. Is there any two million? Well, that that number has to be changed anyhow because we've added and subtracted throughout the revenue. Well, I get that, but <laughs> should be all set. Yeah. We didn't make a twenty-eight million dollar. Oh, it's, well, you know why? Because no, I don't. That's why. I, uh, yes, the eleven million wasn't carried over to the subcommittee recommendation, so that accounts for eleven of that. And the uh, okay, I just wanted to say there's at least eleven million dollars. Yeah, carried. and then so the, we'll income from, the income from taxes is. Okay. All right. So we we've come as far as we can. Are we ready to go into convention on these items? We can. Do we need to discuss capital? I think that was already yeah, we discussed in capital. Representative Hunberger, do you see a reason why we cannot move into convention? We Before we go to convention. Okay, yeah, no, thank you for that. Uh, agenda item um, vote on sheriff and union or MBC union contract appropriations. Uh, it's an outstanding item, and, and uh, the delegation uh, has only the authority to vote up yes or no on the contract by, by the appropriation. In past uh, years, the delegation has been able to view the contract, and by viewing the contract, we understand where the money is appropriated inside the contract. We have been uh, we have been withheld. Is that the contracts that you're passing out, ma'am? No, those are okay. So we have we have asked on a repeated basis to to have those documents. We've been told that we cannot have those documents. We have recently heard an opinion of a uh, delegation member saying that he thought we could see those documents. Uh, to seeing I have the other two chairmen here, do you have a, a feeling? 
uh, commissioners here have a feeling on whether that's going to be forthcoming? It's my belief that the law was given to you the contract the law that says that you don't get to come in on the entire contract. Uh, Mr. Chan, I'm, 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 I'm not going to sit here and listen to this. The law does not say that. And we will have, I can have a ruling uh, the Department of Administration Services does not agree with that, found it laughable that we wouldn't, and I'll say that exactly, would not be able to have those contracts. The law says that we can only vote on the amount of money in the contracts, but it says nothing about what we have to see them. And you can't vote on the amount of money in a contract if you don't know why, what the reasons behind that amount of money are, which is the language of the contract. And I would further propose that until such time as we get those contracts, we, we're, we're done. This is it. I'm, I will not vote on the contract, and I have no problem with Sheriff's contract, but I will not vote on it until I see it to consider it the same as the others. Thank you. And that's just my opinion, and if we're not going to have those contracts, there's no sense. I don't believe in coming back next week. Thank you. I, I share the representatives. As, as, as I do. Um, I think we all do. I didn't check with Carol, but she's nodding her head over here. I apologize for not bringing the copy of that law, because I'd be more than happy to read it. The question is, and, our, and yeah, that's set down. If so my interpretation is wrong. Fine. Do we do we need a motion, or should we just pass on at this point? Okay, the motion. Go forward. There's no nothing to worry about. Okay. So. I mean, we can, as long as the contract dollar figures are not in the budget, okay, we can approve the budget. But if the, con if the dollar figures for the contracts are in the budget, they need to come out of the budget, okay, and, uh, and sit, sit, sit over to the side, because uh, if... If we don't approve the contracts, then they're not approved, and we can't approve the bottom line of the budget until that is removed. Before we make a decision, can we hear, hear what it says? Well, I just figured out. It says no, I mean, no, only no, cost, no, only, this is part of 273. Only cost items shall be submitted to the legislative body of the public employer for approval at the next annual meeting of the legislative body. Unless it goes on and on and on. And that, there's no question, we're not arguing that fact. We're not voting on the whole contract. But you can't vote for the cost of the contract unless you know, or you shouldn't in my opinion, unless you know the reasons that they arrived at the cost in, increases or decreases or whatever that is. And so. I believe that's what we just passed out. Yes. Representative Cardell. Thank you. Uh, I look back in my files and I have copies of prior nursing home contracts. Mm -hmm. And it has on the top uh, the disclaimer uh, as the uh, representative just read in terms of voting on the costs for the budget by the delegation. But still we had the entire contract to review. Um, and I'm in total agreement on needing to see those contracts via uh, 91A or any other uh, means um, to get them. I'll move we go into convention. There's no need There's to... There's no motion on the table, is there? No. There's no reason. Uh, we, we've expressed that, that we're not going to vote on the contracts <coughs> until we see them. And so when we see them, we'll vote on them. And if, if we do schedule another meeting, uh, we're not, we will not accept those contracts the day before or the day of that meeting. And expect us to vote on them. Correct. Right. But, so there's, you know, okay. I think that's where we are. And okay. Thank you. Yes, Representative Chairman. Thank you. And if we are going to come back next week to approve everything else, we need new numbers in the budget because apparently they include the month. No, right. They include numbers that are in the contracts. That's my understanding. So yes. we need new numbers based on. Well, when we, if, if, let me ask a question. When we move into convention, 
Are you then suggesting that we do not, then we do not in convention agree to the numbers we have already? No, that because we haven't agreed to any numbers that have contracts. So. We haven't yet, nor have we agreed to any salary, you know, the, right. so, okay. yeah. the, the people right. numbers have not been agreed to. Right. So, but I think we, uh, okay, so uh, we can you. agree to, in convention, to what, what we've agreed to. Right. So. Okay. But I, I guess that what, what Representative Chen was suggesting is that we um, ask them to prepare a new uh, budget thing taking out the contract items. Um, out of what we are looking at now, which are not items that we have discussed at this time. Right. Kathy, are, are you clear at the request that we're looking yes, for? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Um, Sheriff, comment? Yeah, if I could. Um, I wasn't aware that a request was made for the contract. I had no problem giving the contract. Um, do you want it electronically or by paper? And the subcommittee never brought that up either, that they needed to see the contract. They were aware of the contract items and the cost of them. So I think it's an unfair thing to... If that's, if that's, if that's something that you can provide by electronic, would be perfectly acceptable. Thank you, Sheriff, for, the, for that. President McCarthy. Yes, the reason the subcommittee didn't bring it up is we hadn't been told that we were, we're not going to be allowed to see the contracts until after we met. I, and I didn't know that either, so thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Representative Vaughn. So we posed that same question in the next home when we were told the same thing, so we would not be able to see the contracts, only over the dollar items. Okay. That's why we need no adjustments. Okay, thank you. Then I and Kathy has already agreed to do that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I agree. I'm sure we all agree this is a little preposterous because the 91A law states that the negotiation was done non-public. The negoti negotiation is done, so therefore the minutes should be unsealed, and I don't know where it came from that we were not allowed to see it. That I don't, that's so I just wanted to say that. It was, it, was, it was the opinion of the administrator that we were not allowed to see it from his experience at a former county that he worked for. And we have been, we have been discussing this item in earnest for weeks. And we're now at this point. I still move to go into convention. <laughs> Motion made by Hamburger to Second. go into convention, checked by Evelyn. And uh, if you're in favor of going into convention, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We are now in convention. And I would now look to the clerk for the next motion, but it would be that we would ratify all budgetary items that we have agreed to previously. I'm sorry. Representative Chandler, no, please. I, I would, that motion is fine, except I would like to ask that you not include in the convention the commissioner's budget. We yeah, didn't approve it. it. Just we didn't approve it. it. That's not what we voted on. Start with, yeah, yeah, we start with line while we look at that. Go ahead and do the commissioner's budget. Um, oh, we just need five thousand. You didn't do the sheriff's so budget. No, 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 that's fine. I got both. We also need to do the nursing home. I got registered. I thought I just thought And I would ask on any of those votes that we weren't unanimous that we add that person onto the convention. Is that agreeable? So we don't have to vote on each one. Some of those votes were not unanimous in. Right, but that doesn't mean they wouldn't be unanimous in convention. That's true. <laughs> I, I, for one, would not. No, my no vote was in regular session. And would not have an issue with convention? Right. Okay, then I remove that. For me, anyway. I don't know about other All people. Right. But. <laughs> Are, are we are we clear enough in that in convention that we're voting on we're affirming the go ahead Representative Bumberger. Yeah, we're, we're affirming the actions we took in the regular meeting. Okay, thank you. And that way, because we had minutes, we had many other we had other things in the budget, so that's what we're ratifying in convention. Thank you, Madam. Seconded by Second. Representative Abilene. If you're in favor of the motion, just signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimous.
Motion made by Representative Baumberger to come out of convention, seconded by Representative Avalani. If you're in favor of coming out of convention, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Aye. Motion carries. We have, uh, we have uh, new business, public input, and then we have three requests for transfer, which would be the executive committee uh, that we'll handle right after that. Okay. Yes. Uh, I also have new business uh, before that, and maybe rec recognize you for that. Representative Mayor. Please. Um, I'd like to make a motion um, that we appoint a bipartisan ad hoc committee to review the salary, prosecutory, supervisory, and county criminal justice leadership expectations for our county attorney. Um, I would like a motion that there's a study to include but not be limited to. Uh, one, the time and qualification requirements from the attorney general for effective performance of the county attorney. The Carroll County salary in comparison with other like-sized New Hampshire counties. Uh, and does the current state law, which you're all familiar with because I brought, brought it up, constrain our flexibility to manage the needs of our county. Um, the committee would report back to the delegation prior to May 1st to give the delegation the opportunity to plan on all potential candidates in the fall election to know the parameters before running. Um, if seconded, I will give the reasons for this request. If I might. Yes, Representative Amber. Uh, we've already done conventions. And so, if whatever happens on this motion, we probably should have done it before. That would be, that'd be my error okay. in, in scheduling this. So that we just, uh, that's, that's number one. And number two, I didn't have a clue what she said in the beginning. Could you repeat that again, Representative, please? Because I... Uh, you were still focused on all the good stuff we just no, did. No, I was here. not. I was, I was focused on her words, but okay. sometimes words don't make any sense. I, mean, okay. I was just uh, making a motion that we appoint a bipartisan ad hoc. I can't hear you, Representative. Okay. Should I stand up? Sure. <laughs> Probably. Okay. I can talk very loudly. I was a school teacher at one point. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we appoint a bipartisan ad hoc study committee to review the salary, prosecutory, supervisory, and county criminal justice okay. leadership expectations. That's what I didn't understand what you're looking at. Uh, okay, so what you just said did not make any sense to me, and that's why I don't understand. If you want to... I will go into further detail. If you want specific people to look at, then tell us what those are in the motion. But prosecutorial blah, blah, blah doesn't mean a word thing to me. No. This isn't my area of expertise. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. But, but essentially the responsibilities of our county attorney and, and all the areas that we address. And I will, if it is second, to go further into explaining it. Second. Yes. Second for discussion, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, my concern, um, as you all know, I passed a bill that obviously was not popular with this group, but I feel that there are some issues that should be looked at that are important to our our county. Um, we know that Carroll County has had a problem in the past with the time commitment to the job when it was limited, causing a critical backup in cases and requiring intervention by the Attorney General. Also, the lack of appropriate management caused unacceptable turnover in assisting attorneys and the support staff. And the total office condition also suffered. And we have seen a remarkable difference a full-time commitment has made. And while working on my bill that failed in committee, I did learn a lot more about our situation. And Carol and Belknap encased in state law the requirement to allow private, 
practice, private civil practices. The other counties are silent on it, allowing them to be flexible according to the needs of that county. And should we consider going silent as well to give the county the ability to flex according to need? The opioid crisis has dramatically increased the workload, and we know that last year there were many more cases, like four times the number of cases that have been prosecuted in the past in one year. And we can pray that the situation will abate in the future, but should the choice be with the delegation to be able to adjust the commitment and salary according to county need and not have our situation encased in state law? And according to several of you, when I sent out an email about my bill, I heard we're having a hard time getting qualified people to run now. So why should we make a change? Well, I'm wondering why we're having a hard time getting good qualified people to run. And I'm not talking about a current county attorney that I think is doing an outstanding job. At the municipal and county committee hearing, when a member asked Representative McConkie about the issue, um, he wondered if the issue was financial, if, that, if we couldn't just adjust that. So research shows that the Carroll County Attorney has the lowest salary in the state. The average salary of New Hampshire County Attorneys is $84,781. Ours is $72,930. COAS, with only 66% of our population, pays $76,000. The highest is actually Sullivan, that pays $92,690 and has a population 9% smaller than ours. Belknap, the only other county with our law and only 16% larger, pays $89,164. And I'm not making recommendations. I said I don't believe I know all the answers. But I do believe it's our responsibility to at least look at these issues and work through them together. Thank you. Representative Bomber, did you have a comment? Yes, uh, I don't support this. Uh, the, the number one reason is the legislature voted down the whole business that was the introductory <coughs> uh, part of the comment from the, the representative. Um, the, the second thing is that um, we will be setting the salary for um, our elected officials in May. And someone should bring to us, just you know, to the delegation, proof of why all of this salary increase needs to go. But in the meantime, referring to past things that have happened, I don't think is appropriate. Because since the new attorney, new county attorney has come on, if I'm not mistaken, we've hired at least one additional county attorney. We have hired a part-time administrative person, okay, to come on. And we have put the victim witness person into that office. Now, I realize the victim witness person probably doesn't do court cases, but they do do other things for them. And so um, that's why I said I didn't understand what we were trying to look at. Um, if we, uh, and I, I don't remember, I don't know what the salaries for the, um, the people that we hire on staff, okay, the county attorney, or the people that ran for county attorney agreed to the 72 whatever. If they don't agree to that, they don't have to run. That's why we have to put the um, put the salaries out publicly prior to sign up. And so, um, if there's a problem <coughs> with the underlings in that office, then it should be up to the county attorney and the commissioners to decide on what their salary is. And so, you know, that's not, that's not our business. And uh, our only business is what we set for the county attorney. Okay, thank you. Um, I'd like to move the question. Thank you. 
question. Representative, I, my, my understanding. Question, the question's been called. Uh, if you're in, if you're in, you think, point of order. I know where you're going. Go ahead, Representative. According to Robert's rules, you cannot uh, use that procedure in a committee. We're not in Robert's rules. Uh, all, all I wanted to say, if I may, is that we can only do this at a certain time of the year. And it has to be the first year of, that the convention sits in accordance with RSA 23 colon 7, establishing compensation. So I think we should wait until next year in accordance with the law. Could you read that RSA to us so we know what it says? That's it. Pardon me? Can you tell us what RSA 23 7 says? We right do there. that. We do that in May of this year. Of this year. Prior to. Next. And it also says that once it's done, it is it will remain that way for the entire biennial for uh, period for of the years. delegation. Yeah. Next year we can do it. We can look at it and give raises or whatever, but that has to be right. next year. We do, we do the raises this year. This year. This year. We do. This we year. do it this year ahead of this election. If I may, that's the reason I wanted to have people look at it now, knowing that coming in May is the time of year that that will be addressed. Okay. Thank you. Let's let me just I'll, I'll make a statement and we'll move on. The I, I'm not in favor of opening salaries, which is our charge to do to an ad hoc committee. If we want to discuss having a subcommittee ahead of ahead of that to look at salaries for elected officials, we can do that another day and I'd be happy to do that. But I'm not in favor of an ad hoc committee. Uh, for that purpose. So we have a motion before us. Uh, it has been seconded. If you're in favor of the motion, you'll signify it by saying aye. If you are not in favor of the motion, then you will signify it by saying nay. All those in favor of the motion, signify it by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. 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 Um, so Glenn, if you, would, if you would note one in favor, one, a good representative, yes. The rest is opposed. Thank you. Uh, I put down that I didn't vote because I'm still trying to read RSA 23-7. We'll show one of one, one of Sam. Yeah. The, motion, the motion the motion fails. Hale's budget is that what's passed out to us? Please address that. This is. Do you have a Hale's budget? This is it. Yes, I passed it all out. Um, the commission has approved it, and we need your approval. Which document is this? Is this 218 MS 636? Okay. So moved. So moved. Seconded. Second, moved and seconded. Chandler Alani, the total operating budget appropriation is $220,024. May I ask a question? Yes. Representative Bumberger for a question. Yeah. Uh, as far as the police, that's just coverage by the sheriff and the uh, state police. There's no other police. Does the state police the sheriff cover? No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Further question? Representative Nelson. They pay nothing toward that sheriff's expenses? Why not? Same reason they don't pay anything towards their family expenses when they go to health. Recognize, Sheriff. One of the five towns that don't pay any for coverage. Um, we're in there if we're serving civil papers or maybe answering a house alarm. Just like the other five towns that we do that for. Um, they don't have a contracted issue with us. Conway does respond in there if it's an emergency if we're farther away um, until we get there. But that's the only other police department that may go inside that. Okay, and further first mm -hmm. Representative Bumberger. Yes. Uh, I see nothing here that indicates that this was coordinated with the um, Homeowners Association in Hales and that, that they have agreed to this. 
Madam Chairman, Commissioners. We went up and had a public hearing with the Homeowners Association. And it is our job as commissioners to do their budget because oh, they're unincorporated I understand But that. we did have a public hearing with the budget. And they agree that this is what they need for the budget. The people here did. Thank you. Further question? Motion's been made for Hale's location uh, at $220,024. It has been seconded. If you're in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Motion carries. Do you have other? Who will become the convention to approve Hale's location? Yeah. We're going to have to. So moved. So the motion is to go into convention. Uh, Hale's location. All those in favor of going to convention? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. If the move we approve the Hale's location. But we also have to ratify our decision on the other motion that was made. Okay. So, um, so. You want to vote. Well, we'll do it. Well, well, we ratify both the Hales location and I'm searching the um, the mayor's um, recommendation. recommendation motion. Motion. Who seconded the motion to go into convention? I did. Okay, we all together. If you're in favor, uh, you're in favor of ratification of those two items, you'll signify by saying aye. 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 Question? Yes. You're asking ratification as we voted before? Yes. Okay. We're in convention, so it's on our decision, and we're basing it on our previous decision. So That's what I meant. It's based right. on the previous, and now all of a sudden agreeing to that. Correct. Yeah. Right. Thank you. So, if you're in favor of that motion, signify once again by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The uh, motion passes unanimously. Yeah, Move to on. convention, made by Chandler, seconded by Marsh. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Uh, Chairman, may I ask, the, you read back the number you approved for Hale's location's budget? Two hundred and two twenty zero two four. That's the right one. So then let's come to the two. Two twenty zero two four. But we can handle that another time. Thank you. Okay. Line item transfers. We'll handle that. That goes by the executive committee. Public input. Anyone public? Yes. Public input. I would just give some positive information, please. Well, Sullivan County um, wrote a grant for all 10 counties for um, the Vines program, which is victim witness um, notification program. Every state besides uh, two of us, Manhattan being one of them, has it, where the data is automatically pulled out of the system like every minute of anybody that leaves a facility. And anybody that wants to be notified, they can be notified by uh, text, email, phone, it, you sign up for it. Uh, so the cat, it was one for the state, it just found out Friday. Um, more details will come along. I'll bring it to the commissioners, and I'll bring it back to this group as well, too. But it's going to be at no cost to the counties. Um, what's, what's so it's, what's that? What's the name? Vines. V-I-N-E. Yeah, so, but what does it stand for? I got uh, that. Victims right. information. I can look it up. Notification. Notification, Notification system. system. Uh, I just want to give positive information. That's something good for our county. Um, Thank you. Help with. Any further public input? Seeing none, um, I'm not going to adjourn because we're going into executive. Uh, and uh, those, those members that are a part of the executive committee remain. The others are excused. I, I was going to recess gonna, at the end. Do you want to recess at this point? Okay. 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 Motion to recess the uh, the delegation meeting at this time. So second. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Recess. Aye. Okay. The um, delegation is in recess at this point. The executive committee will meet to discuss transfers.